If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every Live Break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm coming here with Mike. Exciting Sunday afternoon, Mike. You know why I'm excited? Because the Brady full-size authentic helmets have dropped. We close up the last Brady jersey break. I've got that jersey right here. No box numbers to be picked because we already know it's the last one. So we'll get into Brady full-size authentic helmets. But first, we got a few breaks to get through. Hey, Cody, how's it going, Cody Neff? Uh, Mike, how are you as they throw the randomizer on the screen getting ready for our dice roll? I am a sleepy boy today. I'm a little bit tired, but you know what? Uh, no complaints overall. It's nice and sunny out today. I like the uh, vitamin D. Yes, certainly. Vitamin D is good. Uh, six on the dice roll, so that's hey, good news. Nice and low. We, we're going to keep it low on the dice roll. Uh, and then uh, heading to the Wheel of Names, uh, we're going to go for our chase item of the day, if the Wheel of Names wants to load. There it is. <laughs> uh, we have a Brady helmets now, not Brady jerseys, Brady helmets. Uh, we got Breezy Does It, Beater Box, Weapon X, Practice Squad, and Naughty or Nice. All right, I'm going to throw that on the randomizer, and we're going to see what we're going with here. Here we go. Ooh, I love this music. Let's do it. All right. Naughty or nice it is. We actually only have six of those left in the room. Uh, three double box breaks. Uh, so that would be a good chase item to close today. Maybe this afternoon. And we might actually post another one. We'll see the status on that. Might post that tonight uh, for sure on Monday. Because uh, definitely if we don't get it done this show, that one should be done by the end of the day. Nice. Hello, everybody, in my best Christmas vacation voice, says Chris Roberts. Oh. What's up, Chris? James Bushy. I'm glad you're in here, James. Uh, our first break features you. 
We normally randomize for box numbers. We do that whole shebang. Uh, no need to randomize for box numbers because uh, you're the only one in here. No need to randomize for divisions. This is the last box in the Brady series. Our Dutch item is Adrian Peterson. Full-size authentic eclipse, 620 bucks. A few minor scratches in the back. Uh, that bad boy is a good helmet, though. Great player. 620, are you out of your mind? 620? We'll lower that throughout the show. Don't worry, Mike. No, I meant that way in a good way. Awesome. You remember the uh, 9.99? Are you out of your mind? Commercials from back in the day, it's Little Caesars. I think it was four, yeah, five ninety nine. Now something. it's six dollars. So yeah. they moved up. <laughs> Good luck, James. I hope you win, says Chris Roberts. This is box forty eight, last box in the series. Aiden, how's it going? Aiden says, "Hey, Common and Mike. Hopefully you're doing great, Aiden." This is a nice way to way to close the Brady jerseys. <clears throat> Beautiful looking jersey. Mark Brunel, the lefty quarterback for the Jaguars. He holds all sorts of franchise records. Really talented player. Actually won a Super Bowl, I think, or played under behind Brett Favre for a while. Don't think he got a Super Bowl. I think he left the Packers and then went to the Jaguars. But nonetheless, Mark Brunel, one of the few lefty quarterbacks in the league. A beautiful color jersey. Number eight's my favorite number. Mark Brunel, that is going home to James Bushy. Because he's the only one in this break. All right. He gets the win. James Bushy. Good start, James. I had a feeling you'd win this one. Uh, that is an <clears throat> AFC uh, South hit. But, hey, it doesn't really matter because we knew James was going to win this one. That's right. Brunel jersey. Good news, guys. Those full-size authentic Tom Brady helmets are up next. Uh, it's not the next break. We'll do practice squad next. But those are already up on the website. We filled up one break already. Uh, let me read off some of these headliners in this series, Mike. Because this is... A pretty filthy series. We've got, let's see. Um, let me see. UI Live, UA Live Breaks. Uh, Very Brady Authentics. Actually, I'm going to throw the randomizer up and go ahead and show you guys on the screen what we have in this series. This is, this is pretty sweet. All right. So we've got, we've got a Tom Brady, a Lunar Patriots helmet, Marshall Falk on the Rams. That looks like a Lunar as well. I think a Speed Lunar. John Riggins, Sean Alexander, DK Metcalf, all those are Lunars. If you like Lunar Helmets, this is the series for you. We do have Dan Marino on an Eclipse, Barry Sanders, and Devontae Adams on a Camo, Mike. That's pretty cool. Woo! Camo. Pretty cool. <clears throat> don't wear that uh, Don't wear that helmet unless if you don't want to be seen. You know, That's right. Just cover your head up. James, what do you have mystery boxes in, my man? Did he get a couple personals? Uh, yeah, I didn't put him in there, though. Okay. James, we'll get those personals <laughs> in. We're going to get through a few breaks. We'll get your personals in uh, when it gets uh, when it gets slow. Matt Salas says, looks like Falk and Metcalf are Lunar Flex. Matt, that is absolutely right. You would know because I believe you purchased these, these items. Uh, so, absolutely. Uh, so, looking forward to a lot of fun. Uh, all right. Let me pack this Mark Brunel up for you so we can get rolling got a lot of breaks filled up we'll move right on along guys the next break is our practice squad though that's regimo taglicod josh mills michael walker and james bushney if you guys can get us a box number for the first practice squad thank you james i appreciate it figure personals are typically a great time to do those Looks when like, when we're slow. Looks like it's a jackpot and something else. Okay. All right, because we do have a jackpot back in the other room. Uh, we can probably get one for him, but definitely let's let's get a Looks few like breaks two done. Jackpots, two jackpots. Two jackpots. Okay. All right, James, we can do those. James Bushney, Brunel jersey. Cool. James, I know you're in here. Practice squad number one. If you guys can get us a box number. Let me know. <laughs> Chris Roberts says, I need to find another family member to get in this Brady Authentic break. Chris Roberts won the Brady jersey. His son, Andrew Roberts, uh, won the Brady helmet out of the college series for Michigan. So, Chris, not a bad idea. What's the numbers? James Bushney, the numbers should be rolling for you. Let's see. Uh, numbers are 39, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. Those are all in the room here. Uh, you get us one of those, and I will pick that bad boy. 42. All right, James, thank you very much. 42. Okay. 
Keep filling them up, everybody. Beater box just filled up. Sweet. We're doing a whole bunch of breaks today, Mike. I feel it. All right. Box 42 out of the practice squad. Indeed. All right. I'm going to go ahead and throw your names into the randomizer, and we'll take a look at what division uh, you wonderful folks are in. All right, we're going six times, Mike. Low, low dice roller today. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. We'll get us going here because we got a lot of breaks to fill up. We're definitely looking forward to those Brady helmets. Those are sick helmets. That might be the single best series we've ever had since we've been here. At least we've been here about three months now. Uh, that might be the best series we've had, in, in my humble opinion. I mean... It's got to be up there, right, Mike? I'd say it's up there. I think uh, my my opinion on it is sure. I think the uh, be honest. the Speed Flex series that we had. Where was it all flex the headliners were all Flex on them. Flex yeah. on them. Yeah, that was sick. I think that was probably, that's probably tied. Okay. With this one. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's fair. Josh Mills is in the NFC North. Regimo Tagliacod is in the AFC North. Uh, and then... Every other one is owned by James Bushy. I think he's got, what, six of, six in here? Oh, Michael Walker has one. Michael Walker is the NFC East. So, good luck, guys. Five out of eight chance for James Bushney. But all it takes is one to play, as they say. Feels like a jersey, Mike. Okay. Feels like a jersey. What if it's a jersey, Mike Singletary? Oh, uh, well, let's see. <laughs> No, sir. Unfortunately, just, it's not. If I just called it, that'd be That would insane. be incredible. No, this is a Jim Hart jersey. Jim Hart was a Cardinals QB from 1966 to 1983. Four-time Pro Bowler, second-team All-Pro in 1974. My favorite story about him, he went to Southern Illinois. Uh, that was an FCS school. They're Division I AA. Uh, didn't get drafted, but made the NFL nonetheless. Jim Hart, what a start. That would be the NFC West, and of course... James Bushney, two breaks, two wins, two jerseys for James Bushney. Not a bad start, Mr. Bushney. Jim Hart. I like that. You like that? I like that. You know, if it was in the uh, if it was in the beater box series, uh huh, it would be a broken heart. Ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Mike. That's not bad. Hitting him with the groaner. Hey, get the get the corny jokes out. Get them out. <laughs> Bob Boulay, where are you for that one? <laughs> this Mike, I think this is like a custom jersey. It has just a different feel to it. Sure. You know what? I've been noticing that with a lot of our newer jerseys, they almost have like a softer feel. They have to a softer it. Like a, feel to them. Yeah. Yeah. Then the older custom jerseys that we had, they were a little bit more like like rigid feeling. Sure. I guess. Yeah, these new ones feel like I I would wear them. You know, like I'd want to put it on. It feels well. It feels good. <laughs> Dallas needs a new kicker, said James Bushing. How are the Cowboys Wait. doing, boys? How are your Cowboys looking? I saw they were uh, beating the Giants earlier, but it wasn't by a lot. Saquon had a heck of a catch earlier. Okay. Mr. Barkley. Don't say that very often, but... <laughs> he used to get a lot of catches. I know, I know. That injury really, put, really set him back, I think. He hasn't been the same since he came back. That is certainly true. All right. Next up, Mike. How about another practice squad? That sounds great. All right, practice squad number two. We got Dale Pocher, Pochervina. All right, Dale. And we have John, James Bushney and Bob Boulay. Bob is in here. Okay, Bob. So, James, if you can get us a box number. We just did 42. Let me take that off the ticker. 39, 43, 44, 45, or 46. We can get one. Jerry should draft the kicker. Shock the world. Okay. 44, says Bob. Bob is coming in hot with 44. I will get 44 off the ticker and bring it to you wonderful folks. Let's do it. Good old 44. Good old 44. James came in with 46. James, Bob Boulay is an expert clicker. He just beat you there. Oh. Bob is a quick clicker. Quick draw McGraw. That's right. All right, everybody, let me just give you a heads up. We are wide open on a lot of our secondary and third breaks uh, for what we filled up already. We've got 10 left on Beater Box, number three. Eight left on Very Brady Authentic, number two. Eight left on Practice Squad, number four. 
Okay. Seven left on Weapon X. That doesn't seem right. But uh, let me, I'll double check into that Weapon X for you. I think we might be closer to that than. Uh, Sometimes it takes a second to load. And then uh, we got eight away on Naughty or Nice. That's our chase, everybody. We are wide open on the chase and seven left and Breezy does it. I'm going to drop the link for Naughty or Nice right now. Tertiary. Nice, nice, Bob. That's some wonderful vocabulary, Bob. Bob I was going to say tertiary until I realized that I shouldn't have even said secondary in the first place. I should have said second and third instead of secondary and tertiary. So there we go. I have not heard tertiary used in forever. We'll take it. <laughs> take it. All right. Four, five, and six times on the dice roll. Woo. Let me copy those divisions for you guys. Let's get a ripping. All right, this will be easy. I'll do it the same way I did it last time. Uh, Dale, you've got the AFC East. And Bob, you've got the AFC North. And James Bushney has the rest. It's the lion's share, as I like to say. Yes, sir. Light. This is old. Mike. Maybe. Th this feels special. Maybe, uh, maybe a slab. Yeah. We got a couple of slab headliners. I was trying to say it like, uh, like I asked my dog if he wants to go outside or go for a walk. Do you want to slap? How about a headliner hit? Jalen Hurts. How about Woo! that? Gotta Woo! love it. Woo. Jalen Hurts, 9.0 HGA mint. Uh, it's 9.0 all over uh, and all the all the stuff, but it is 10 on the autograph. You take a look at the 10 on the auto is what they're grading it. Beautiful autograph for Jalen Hurts, the young, talented uh, quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. That is a nice-looking card. He is a captain, second-year player, already a captain for the Eagles. Uh, one of the top fantasy quarterbacks, really quietly, with all those rush yards he gets. Uh, solid player. We'll see if he's the future or not, but uh, that is definitely going home to the NFC East. James Bushney, three for three, my man. You're on fire. All right, James, let me give you a rundown on that slab. So uh, it is out of optic, last year's optic, 2020 optic, Jalen Hurts rated rookie card. It's actually the black and white parallel, which mm. is really tough to pull. And the autograph was signed, uh, looks like at a private signing or on a secondary, secondary signing um, because it is on card. The Optic uh, Rated Rookie Autographs are sticker autographs from straight from Panini Donruss Optic. So that was signed after the fact in uh, Eagles Green Ink also. That's a real tough, tough card to pull. Incredible. That is what you call a fire slab, Chris Roberts. That's Indeed. Right. Fire. Fire in the break room. I love it. Jalen Hurts. Headliner hits. James Bushney. Nice. You're feeling it, man. And Fuego. He's feeling it. Mike is the slab master. If Mike tells you it's a nice slab, you know it's a nice slab. That is a nice slab. That's a slab I am jealous of. Slabberific. That's right. Slabberific. All right, well, hey, James Bushney, I can tell you this. You're going to win again because uh, you started with three wins. You're going to get a win here because you have all the spots in beater box number one. James Bushney, if you can get us a box number, uh, we've got, let's see what we have in beater box. We've got 32, 34. 35, 37, and 38. Let's do it, James. Let's go. It's not a Cowboys card, but it's definitely going in the collection. Hey, James, that's pretty good. Heck yeah. You had the right division, too. Sure did. Just didn't get the Cowboys hit, but hey, it's a headliner hit. Jalen Hurts. Not too bad. Not too bad. Four for four. That's right, James. You are... <laughs> like Steph Curry shooting those warm-up threes in a basketball game. Oh, my. That's what you are, James. Um, Jeez, can you count. get us a box number, Mr. James? I know you're in here. 32, 34, 35, 37, and 38. Woo! Fire, fire, fire. <clears throat> and that's the other. After beater box, let's see what we have after beater box. We have practice squad three. Brady full size authentic helmets number one. That's right, guys. The Brady full size authentic series has been dropped. Uh, those are a lot of not only authentic helmets 
I believe all of them are authentic helmets. We have a lot of speed helmets, speed flexes, yes. a lot of really nice Couple things. Of those in there. Oh, they're nice. Speaking of curry, come on, common claws. Chris Roberts is wanting curry items in the break room. Uh, so, Chris, you're, you're gonna pay out the nose for him because a uh, signed piece of Steph Curry memorabilia bottoms out at about seven seven hundred fifty bucks an item. Yeah. An autographed custom standard jersey is about seven fifty and up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we can, maybe we can get a slab or something. We'll see. There, we'll, there may or may not be a slab already in the house, but it is not an autograph. Yeah. All right, so Tony Payne, I did unfortunately bet the trap game, the, the Colts-Patriots game. I made that mistake. I did make some other bets yesterday. actually ended up in the positive. So I did well minus the trap game. Uh, because of your advice, Tony, I bet very little on that game. I was originally going to bet more on it. Didn't bet very much on it, so it didn't hurt me a lot. But congratulations to your Colts. They look like a playoff team. 38 for the beater boxes coming your way, James Bushney. Matthew Kerr, I'm guessing you're in the Brady break that you're calling out the two for the Brady. Theater box 38. There it is, 38. Not in the best place, Mike, but it's there. It's still there. This is why, Mike, I like having them all here, the boxes. Sure. There's a method behind my madness, believe it or not. All right, box 38. I'll go with or not. Or not. <laughs> All right, this is a top spot break. We opened the item first, but you know what? We don't even have to go top spot because we know it's James Bushney. It's just a matter of what James is taking home. I did make some money. I bet college football last night. Louisiana Lafayette, minus four or whatever it was. They was looking bad, but they, they got hot in the fourth quarter. ULL doing big things for me. There's a story behind that. I might tell it later in the show, but now we're kind of busy. So I'll hold off on that story for now. Feels like a mini, Mike. A mini. Not just any old mini. I call this, Mike, drop him with the Hall of Fame mini. Oh. Ron Yeri. Ron Yeri, Hall of Fame mini. This is a beautiful hit. Mr. Yeri, look at this helmet. This might be a speed mini. It's, it's sick. I know there's a little... Scratches up top, a little smudge marks. That's why it's in the beater box. But Ron Yeri, seven-time Pro Bowler, six-time first-team All-Pro. He's a college and a pro football Hall of Famer. Four for four, James Bushney. Nice win. Scary Yeri. I think that's what they call them. Probably only at Halloween. That's right. Matthew Kerr, you're good. I wanted to hype up the Brady, uh, and I told people it was coming up. Uh, so we can reserve that, too, for you, though. It's a, it's a sexy autograph. I agree. This is what you call a sexy autograph, Mike. <laughs> sexy Jeez, indeed. James take it out Bushen. to dinner first. That's right. James Bushney doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mess around. <laughs> or does. But anyways, that's a nice hit. <laughs> Ron, Ron Yeri on the mini. I'll stop talking while I'm ahead. But that's a very nice hit, James Bushney. I'm glad you're happy with Ron Yeri. You're taking home this bad boy. Awesome hit. <clears throat> Yeri Mini. Let's see what's next. Practice squad number three. It's James Bushney and Matthew Kerr. Matthew Kerr will do that Brady helmet next. Uh, I will save two for you, but if you want to get us a box number or James Bushney, who's looking for five for five, if you guys can get us a box number, five spots for James, three spots for Mr. Kerr. Practice squad number three. I'm not being naughty, Chris. I take it back. Those comments have been taken back. They've been wiped from the record. James Bushney started it with the sexy autograph talk. Good luck, Matt, says James Bushney. James got a box number. Matt, if you guys have a box number, let us know. Practice squad numero, numero tres. Thirty-nine says Matthew Kerr. Thirty-nine. All right, thirty-nine is going off the ticker. It's coming for you guys. Practice squad number three, and then Mike. The real show starts. Brady helmets. Hey. I can't wait to open one of those bad boys. I'm excited.
You know what's that saying they say, Mike? A boy on Christmas? Like a yes. boy is excited on Christmas. I woke up this morning. I went to our website. I saw the Brady jerseys were sold out. I went over to my mom and my girlfriend. And I said, guys, the Brady helmets are today. I was so excited. Oh. One of the most excited I've ever been for work, quite honestly, Mike. I like coming to work. I always get excited. But now that the Brady full-size authentic helmets are dropped, my excitement level is through the roof. Through the roof. Oh, yeah. All right. List randomizer. We're going six times here for practice squad number three. Four, five, and six. We have a lot of different price points on our website. That's one of the great things we offer. We have uh, higher-end, beautiful helmets like the Brady's, and we have cheaper items like the practice squad. So a lot of things to get into. Matthew Kerr, you've got the NFC South, NFC East, and AFC West. James Bushney, you've got the rest. Or as Mike would say, the lion's share. Right, Mike? Rawr. Rawr, indeed. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. Well, you don't expect this out of this series. Feels like a replica helmet. Okay. Full-size replica helmet. What can this be? Mike? What do we got? You'll like this. I'm sure I will. This is a headliner hit. Maybe the best thing we have in the series. Ooh. 15 bucks a slot. Jamal Lewis. Lunar. Replica full-size helmet, nice. Jamal Lewis. Are you kidding me? Yes, sir. Jamal Lewis, 2,000-yard rusher, one of eight 2,000-yard rushers, one of the great running backs of the 2000s, won the Super Bowl, carried the Ravens' offense. Trent Dilfer was the quarterback. This man was the whole offense. Trent Jamal Dilfer. Lewis, that is an AFC North hit. James Bushney, five for five. Oh You're on gosh. fire, my man. Unreal. Bushney in the house. Headliner hit, Jamal Lewis, 15 bucks a spot. You get this beautiful full-size replica helmet, Jamal Lewis. You're welcome, James, says Matthew Kerr. Matthew Kerr called out the box number. <laughs> uh, Matthew, all that means is that you're due to win in the first Brady break. Oh, okay, okay. James Bushney got the jersey in the mail today. All right, James. Uh, good stuff. James Bushney, Lewis Lunar. Thanks, Matt. A lot of class in the room, Mike. Uh, we always have a lot of class in here. Class. <clears throat> hey, you know what? At least it's not like school in the summer. No <laughs> class. No class. Hey, Mike. Yes. You're talking about practice? Not the game. We're talking about practice, practice squad. Jamal Lewis, practice squad. Full-size helmet. Nice. You're talking about practice? Not the game. We're talking about practice, Mike. <laughs> practice. Oh, you know they say practice makes... Perfect. Nobody's perfect. There you go. Nobody is perfect. Yeah, they say Although, practice makes perfect, but then they say that nobody's perfect, so I'll stop practicing. Uh, you can be perfect in short stints. James Bushney is currently perfect. Okay. He's five for five. James Bushney is, is perfect well, at the moment. He's definitely getting the practice in. He's that, That's he's, for sure. He's perfect on the practice. He is perfect. That's for sure. How many more corny jokes can we get in here? I love it. The, I, there's a lot more to be done. There's a lot more to be done, but we won't do it because we gotta open up some boxes. We have a little bit more important business to do. Yeah, we got as you've been as you've been hyping up here. We got our first Brady yes. helmets up next, then beater box number two and practice squad number four. Just awesome. so everybody knows, we are only five away from the next beater box, one away from the next very Brady authentic, two away from Weapon X. Love to hear it. <laughs> James Bushney likes our corny jokes, as is Chris Roberts. He's saying this should have been called the practice makes perfect break. Um, all right, Brady Helmets number one. Matthew Kerr, you called out number two. I'm going to give Matthew Kerr that number two because uh, Matthew Kerr is a, is a great man, and he, he hopped in, didn't get that awesome dub earlier. So I'll take two off the ticker. We typically like to get those box numbers once we get to the break, but Matthew Kerr uh, called out number two a little early because I was – Flipping through the Brady helmets, I was muted. He thought we were up. So number two is coming your way, Mr. Matthew Kerr. Hey, everybody. I'm uh, dropping the uh, link right there in the chat to the uh, Live Breaks page on our website. Hop in there and fill some stuff out if you want to keep us rolling this afternoon. 
We are only a couple few one spots away and a few breaks, so hop on in. All right. This is what I came to work for today. The full-size Brady Authentic Series, box number two, Brady Helmets number one. We're getting started with Colton Bicker, Ryan Murray, Matthew Kerr, and Bob Boulay. Got a whole bunch of folks in here. Uh, James Bushney's streak is over, uh, although I guess he's not in this break, so we can say he's five for five with yeah. a DNP or something. Yeah, um, he's, got, he's got some pinch hitters in this break. He's got some pinch hitters. Got some great people in here, though. Ryan Murray, Bob Boulay, uh, longtime customers. Matthew Kerr, a little bit newer, but uh, one of our big-time customers in recent weeks. And I believe Colton Bicker was in here Friday night, I think was his first night, and Colton was on fire. Nice. Welcome to the room, Colton. This will be a Steeler IFO, says Chris Roberts, okay? okay. Uh, Chris Roberts has great intuition. It didn't work Friday. He was calling out names Friday, and he was... Way off. So it can't be perfect every time, Chris. That must have been man's intuition he had on mm. Friday. Certainly wasn't women's intuition. No. <laughs> uh, Matthew Kerr, you're in the NFC North and NFC South. Which, by the way, NFC North is a Barry Sanders hit. Uh, we got true. Colton Bicker in the NFC East. Bob Boulay in the NFC West. Uh, AFC North is Ryan Murray. Colton Bicker is in the AFC South. Ryan Murray's in the AFC East. That's the Brady Division. And Colton Bicker in the AFC West. Uh, Dan Marino also really good in the AFC South. So many good good headliners in this series. Warren Sapp, I remember, says James Kilborn. All right, James Kilborn. Uh, welcome to the party, James Kilborn. Glad, glad to have you in here. Radio Authentic. Let's get started with some fire. I love opening Authentics because you just... The bag just feels nice. The helmet feels heavy. It's just a different feeling, Mike. It's hard to describe it. It's like a, a breaker's dream. Just hits different, as just, the kids would say. Just hits different. All right. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, this is a good start. How about the Green Bay Packers all-time leading rusher? I'm on green. But wait. This is out of Nebraska. Full-size authentic. As all these helmets are, it's a lunar, I believe. Almost looks like a speed helmet. Got that beautiful N. Look at how shiny that is. That N for Nebraska. I'm on green. One of the best signatures in the game. Are you kidding me? I'm on green. What a start, Matthew Kerr. I told you. It didn't get that dub last time because you were due for a nice win this time. NFC North, Matthew Kerr. Very nice. It's a shut college helmet, says Bob. Yep, Bob, it's a shut... You are right. This that, is a fancy helmet, the Huskers. That is a shut and closed case right there. <laughs> That's right. Matthew Kerr is definitely the winner. There is no debate for this one. Matthew Kerr. Woo! Hey, you know, sometimes you got to shut the door to open a window, Common. That's you know? right. you got to shut the door as a Bears fan because we're yelling when this guy used to get in the end zone against us. I'm on green. What a start. That's it, Matt. Nice hit, Matt. Nice hit, Matt, says. Pretty cool helmet, says Matt. Indeed. Uh, we have a lot of... I know you mentioned the flex on them because uh, it was a speed flex series, but actually I did take a look at like the listing. Like There's a lot of really nice helmets, a lot of speed helmets uh, in this series as well, Mike. So these yep. are pretty special helmets. This isn't just Tom Brady himself. I know everyone wants that Brady helmet, but this is a nice series. All the helmets will look like this. Uh, and Amon Green's not a bad first hit. Definitely not a bad first hit. Green on Nebraska. Yeah, two of those, uh, the Marshall Falk and the, the DK Metcalf uh, headliners in that series are Speed Flex helmets. Okay, They're beautiful. Insane. Is Marshall Falk on uh, the the Rams? The so Rams. I know we had Marshall Falk on the Colts recently in the break room, and I was like, well, this is pretty cool, but people know him in his Rams time, and this yep. is this will be a Rams helmet, the next Marshall Falk. Katrina, if you're watching, Tony Payne, I know you're watching, Tony. We do have uh, some, some good stuff in this series, uh, so good stuff. He was a Texan an ear or two right, LOL, says Colton. I think he was. Oh, my God, Mike. Yes. Matthew Kerr, you're still watching, my man. I didn't even notice this. How about a Tom Brady head is in here? Oh, dang. What a way to start the, the series. Whoa, whoa. Uh, are you kidding me? Tom All Brady right. head. So, Matthew Kerr, on top of your Amon Green win, you're entered into our Brady drawing. Uh, what this means is that 
uh, on Christmas Eve during our noon show, you'll be entered in for a free chance to get some extra Tom Brady gear. You don't have to pay squat, Matthew Kerr. You are entered in this free drawing. What a start. Woo! I didn't even notice. I was so excited by the hit, and I was so excited about this series. I didn't even notice the Brady head. Very nice. Are you going to copy that over? You want me to do it, Mike? I can do it. Mike's got it. Oh, I can do it. Sweet. Brady head. <laughs> know where to put them you can uh i'll tape them later yeah, we'll tape we'll, them, we'll tape them later <laughs> we'll tape them later <laughs> Woo! Uh, we'll put them up there later see. wow in box two as well says chris roberts don't sleep on box two don't sleep on box one guys two Pe my lucky numbers so definitely don't sleep on that yeah people are always sleeping on box one and two uh, early in the series uh, 35 on beater box says chris roberts all right chris 35 is going off the ticker. It's coming your way. We have uh, Matthew Kerr, fresh off his win. James Bushney, fresh off tons of wins. Uh, we got two Chris's in here. Chris Reitmeyer, Chris Roberts. Uh, Aiden, who said hello in the chat earlier. And Matthew L is in here as well. Ludwig. So I'm going to get 35. And we'll open up the beater box. Matthew Kerr, hopefully you didn't put yourself on mute. Uh, again, because... <laughs> You've got this as well, Matthew Kerr. Tom Brady head. How about that? Very, Very nice. nice. I like that, Mike. <laughs> I like that. All right, everybody. Three slots left in the next practice squad. Five left in the next beater box. Only one in the next Brady Authentic. Only one in Weapon X. And seven left in Naughty or Nice. That is our chase. Sweet. Only three breaks left in that series, too. So we'll probably drop... A naughty or nice full-size authentic helmet series as well coming up. So a lot of good stuff in the room. Uh, this is a top spot break, Mike. So we open up the box first, and then we see who's going to win. It'll be a Chris, a James, a Matthew, an Aiden, or a Ma We have two Matthews in here. So we have okay. two Matthews and two Chris's. So Maybe it's an omen. We'll see. Maybe it's an Aiden. <laughs> Matthew Kerr missed it. Thanks. He says, thanks. Yep, you got the Brady head. I was the one who missed it. So there you go. Nicely done, Matthew. Box number two, Mike's lucky number. Box number eight is my lucky number. We get through a few of these boxes on the Brady. Maybe I'll even post eight on the ticker. We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? But two worked out well. All right, here we go. Mike, the fire in the break room continues. This is what, beater box? Indeed. Indeed. How about this? One of the best linebackers in the game. He actually had an interception last night. Darius Leonard with the Indianapolis Colts. Darius Leonard, an absolute beast linebacker, multi-time pro bowler. Uh, Mr. Leonard is one of the best in the game. The top of the helmet's got a little kind of a spot there. That could probably be fixed. Uh, but that is a nice hit. We're going top spot break uh, for the Darius Leonard in beater box. Number two, number two. That was a nice hit. All right, here we go. James Bushney, Matthew Kerr, Matthew L., Chris Reitmeyer, Aiden, a whole bunch of folks in here. Katrina, are you watching? Katrina. Tony Payne. Tony Payne likes Darius Leonard. So we're going six times. Top spot after the sixth click. This is five. The next click is six. Matthew Kerr! Matthew Kerr is heating up, Mr. Kerr. You are taking home Darius Leonard. Matthew Kerr. Top spot, Leonard uh, helmet. It's a full-size rep helmet. Very nice. Nice hit. Nice hit, Matt. It's the Bushney and Kerr domination early on. Nice, says Matt. Nice indeed. Let's put this Brady head right here. Darius Leonard. Very nice. We got practice squad coming up next. Okay. The uh, practice squad uh, is just simply Matthew Ludwig. Okay, so Matthew... That that's our last full break right now, too. All right, so Matthew, you're going to get a guaranteed win yourself, the other Matthew. So it'll be James and Matthew carrying the show early, but two different Matthews. Uh, Darius Leonard, by the way, Mike, two-time first-team All-Pro, likely to make it again this year, more than 500 career tackles. One of... The best linebackers. He's only been a linebacker since 2018. Already has more than 500 career tackles. 
Consistently top 10 in the league in tackles, Darius Leonard is. Crazy. And Bobby Okariki, or however Bob Boulay and company say it properly, is pretty good too. They got a great linebacking core in Indianapolis. Mac Jones can certainly attest to that. Didn't we only have one spot left in the Brady or something? Yep. All right, fill up that second Brady, guys. Matthew Kerr, you're hot right now. One left in the next Brady, one left in Weapon X, three left in the next practice squad, five left in the next beater box, seven in Naughty or Nice, seven in Breezy Does It. Awesome. We're moving. That's We're right. grooving. Practice squad number four, as uh, Mike just said, it's Matthew Ludwig. Matthew, if you're in here, uh, if you can give us a box number. Uh, we've got 43, 45, 46. I'm going to go ahead and drop all the remaining box numbers in that series. I know they're 47, 48, 49, and 50. That tells you we only have seven practice squads left in the series. Uh, all the practice squad box numbers are that we have left are up. All the naughty or nice mini numbers are up. And all the breezy does it are all up. So Matthew L is coming through with 46. All right, 46 is going off the ticker. I'll bring it to you, and I will go ahead and just rip it wide open because it's all you, Matthew. I'm just going to paste them in the divisions just for the heck of it. Because I just like to, Mike. Why not? Why not? Why not? 46. I'm dropping the link for the live breaks page on our website, everybody. If you want to keep things rolling. One left in Barry Brady. One left in Weapon X. Three in Practice Squad. And five in Beta Box. And Naughty or Nice is our chase this afternoon. Sweet. Don't leave that advent calendar item sitting out there. Yeah, I'd like to do at least one Naughty or Nice. I mean, I'd like to do more, but at least one is, like, not a requirement, because we don't require you guys to do anything, but it would be strongly encouraged. <laughs> what is what is that that they say in the game? Strongly encouraged. 46. Here we go. Feels like another jersey. A lot of, well, actually, maybe not. Let's see. A lot of jerseys early on. It is a jersey. It is one of the best running backs in the 2000s. How about Clinton Portis, CP on the Washington football team? We're used to getting that Clinton Portis Rookie of the Year Broncos content. This is Clinton Portis uh, with the football team. Had several thousand yard rushing seasons with them, uh, as well as Denver. Really good running back. He played at the U in college, the U. Back when the U was good. A nice signature, too. Clinton Portis. So, Matthew Ludwig, I hope you're a Washington fan. Because you're taking home CP. Clinton Portis. One left in the Brady Authentic. Who's going to close this out, Mike? It's a good question. It's a great question. I'm on green. Got the party started. A shut college helmet. With Nebraska. Chris Roberts. Dang, my Portis prediction was two days off. We were <laughs> somewhat close. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Hey, you've we've, been broken clocks right twice a day. <laughs> we, we've only had this practice squad series for probably about three days. And Chris coming in here on the last day, it was right. <laughs> Joe pulled a CP yesterday as well. What was the Clinton Portis? I think I think he pulled a Portis helmet, actually. I did one of those de deals you like to do, Mike. Maybe hop in the break room for a couple minutes just to see what's going on. And I actually yes. think I hopped in right when he pulled the Portis on. I think it was a Broncos rep helmet out of Weapon X, maybe. Okay. I can't remember, but I feel like I saw that yesterday in the show. Nice. Well, we've got a bunch of breaks that just filled up. We'll have three breaks ready for you in just a moment. Yes, sir. Just go the next and a Brady. Keep these hits coming, says Matthew yeah. Clare. All right, Matthew. We will do so, my friend. You keep filling out the orders, the hits will keep coming. Uh, the good news about this Brady series, guys, is that, like you guys saw, we've only opened up one box. All the headliners are out there. And we already had a Brady head, and we have a non-headliner uh, that's a fancy helmet uh, in that last one. Practice Squad 5 is ready for you. Practice Squad 5 is coming up next. And then we'll do uh, the X and the Brady. All right, Practice Squad number 5. James Bushney wants to get back on a winning track. Regimil. Taglicott is in here. It's actually James and Regimil. 
Chris Roberts is shocked that I can't remember something? I think I said I wasn't 100% sure, Chris. I know Chris knows I have a good memory. Like an elephant, as he says. El elefante. James Bushney, can you get us a box number or regimo? We have seven slots for James Bushney, one for regimo. We have 43, 45, and then 47 uh, through 50 uh, all in the room, guys. Good time to get a drink of water. <laughs> Take a mini, mini break. Mike, you get those orders in first, but once you when, once you get caught up, we can lower that Dutch from 620 to 550. We'll ch chunk off a good bunch right 550. now. 550. 47, says James Bush. All right, 47 is off the ticker, James. Uh, it is coming back here for you to look at. Maybe get a win. I have a feeling that you have a 7 and 8 chance to win, so your odds are good. Almost done with the practice quad. Almost done with the breezy. Almost done with the naughty or nice. You know, guys, you know what that means. We're dropping new series coming up soon. Uh, but one series we won't be dropping soon is another Brady series. Because this is our last Brady series. So let's keep rolling on Mr. Tom Brady. All right, James Bushney. It's an exciting day. Mike, I am truly glad to be here on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. You know your job is good when you're happy to be here on a Sunday. <laughs> but it's especially good today because the Brady series has dropped. Uh, I've been I've been waiting for the Brady Authentic series for over a month. Since I first found out we're doing this series, I was just pumped. So this is the moment I've been waiting for, Mike. <laughs> All these weeks. All these weeks. All right, Regimo, you are in the AFC West, James Bushney. Uh, you've got all the rest. West and rest and rhymes. You know who else is in Chicago this fine Sunday afternoon? Are you in Chicago finally visiting that home alone house, Chris Roberts? Are you in Winnetka? <laughs> Are you in Winnetka, Chris? Did you get that Airbnb prize? <laughs> uh, Chris Chris loves the, the home alone house. Oh, Very expensive house. It's, yeah, but the Airbnb is not as expensive. Sure. You enter for 25 bucks. Uh, the theme today, Mike, is jerseys. Okay. Got another jersey here. Daryl Talley. Daryl Talley on the jersey. Uh, New York Giant. Great. Mr. Talley. Daryl Talley was a linebacker in the 80s and 90s. Two-time Pro Bowler and two-time All-Pro. Cool. That is an NFC East hit. James Bushney is back to doing what he does best. Win. All he does is win. Mr. Tally. Tally. 56. What's that on the bottom that he signed? Is that his nickname? I can't even read it. What was James Tally's nickname? I'm not sure. And I believe Lawrence Taylor was 56, was he not? Or was oh. Taylor was 53? Taylor might have been 53. I don't know, but something about 56 in the New York Giant linebackers, Mr. Tally. LeBron's in town. Okay, that's right. LeBron James and the oh. Lakers are at the United Center taking on the Bulls. Uh, Anthony Davis is out. whole bunch of Bulls have COVID. I think the Lakers coach has COVID as well. So all sorts of concerns in that game. Uh, a lot of shorthanded people. It's funny, Mike. I was actually thinking about going to that game uh, when the schedule came out because I, I like watching LeBron James at the United Center. Sure. I decided against that. I would have had to take off work. And given all the injuries and all the COVID... Uh, going on all those teams shorthanded. I think I made the right decision. I think so too. I think so too. I'm start. I've said I'm gonna try to hit it up when they play the Warriors, or I might try to go to a Bucks Nets game instead. Sure. So we'll see. Someone already get a Brady head, Katrina. That's right. Matthew Kerr got a Brady head on the very first pool. The first box we did, we got a Brady head already. Don't sleep on those early box numbers, guys. People are always assuming the first two box numbers aren't going to be headliners. And that's not always true. And even if it's not a headliner, you can get a Brady head. One box down, already a Brady head in the books. Very nice. Them Cowboys about to win, too. James Bushney's having a great day today. His boys are winning, and he's winning in the break room. James, have yourself a day, my man. 
Uh, I'm actually excited, Mike. Right now, my Kansas City Chiefs uh, have the top seed in the AFC after that slow start, seven-game winning streak now that the Patriots finally lost. Uh, longest winning streak in the league, I think. So th Bad. things are looking up. Things are looking up in the sports world. Diggs with another interception, James. Trayvon Diggs leading the league in picks. I believe that's number 10 for him, guys. Sounds right. Does anyone have more than one head, or are they all different people? Katrina, I can tell you right now. In fact, I will show you. We have Matthew Curris, three of them. Katrina, you've got one. Tim Pally is one. Cody Myers is one. Derek Garcia is one. Uh, Dustin Akram is one. And Scott Thompson is one. So Matthew Kerr is leading the way with the Brady Heads. He's got three of them. Uh, speaking of Matthew Kerr, he is in the Weapon X break. We've got Aiden S. in here. Colton Bicker. Charles PV House. Welcome to the room, Mr. PV House. James Bushney and Matthew Kerr. If you guys can get us a box number. <laughs> Aiden just put on his UA shirt. Hoping on some wins soon, Aiden. That is a great idea. That is a great idea. Hopefully that brings you some luck. He's got the shirt on, and he's calling out the box number. Aiden's ready to go, guys. Beware of Mr. Aiden. I know he's got one spot, but he's got UA t-shirt mojo, box number mojo. Uh, we'll see what happens. Matthew, he just beat you with that 34. Chris Roberts might be wearing his UA shirt as well. We'll see. You guys I just want to match me, I know. It's that's right. right. I've got my shirt below here. Uh, so I actually have it on below uh, the shirt I'm wearing. So I've got my UA shirt as well. All right, everybody. I just dropped the uh, links for the live break page to our website in the chat. We are three away from Beater Box, seven away from Naughty or Nice, and Breezy does it, and a wide open on everything else. Sweet. Very wide open. So uh, if you guys want to do something today, beater box would be good. We're only three away from that. That's our third beater box. And uh, Naughty or Nice is our chase. We are still seven slots away from that. That is a double box break mini helmets. That is our chase. If y'all want to get in on the advent calendar item or some uh, uh, or some UA cash, double, double UA cash. I just pasted the link in for Naughty or Nice Double Sweet. Box Break. I bumped this a little bit earlier when I was walking here. It's okay. Making sure the camera looks good. I think it looks all right, Mike, right? Hey, you know what? If I lean back, I'm cut off, so it's perfect. Oh, we don't want to cut no, you no, off. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we, do, we, do. <laughs> we don't want to see Mike? I'd like nah. to see Mike. There he is. I see Mike. <laughs> Matthew Kerr, how much for that Lenny Moore helmet you have? Katrina says. Matthew Kerr, I think... Uh, snag the Lenny Moore Dutch item. Did he not the other night with us in here? Thursday, maybe? Yes, I believe so. Katrina, I have some more good news for you. Uh, Tony Payne as well. I noticed we have a Dutch, another Dutch Marshall Falk helmet. This time it's not a Lunar. Uh, we don't have that listing up, but we'll get that up next week. Uh, so that should be available pretty soon. Marshall Falk, uh, I think it's an authentic too. I believe so. All right, Joe gave away three shirts yesterday. All right, well, Chris was happy. He loves those shirts. All right, here we go. There's our divisions. I will copy you guys into the randomizer and then throw you guys into the Excel sheet. All right, Aiden, you've got the NFC North. Mr. PV House, you're in the NFC South. Matthew Kerr, the NFC East. PV House in the West. Colton Bicker in the AFC North. James Bushney in the AFC South. And Colton also has the East and the West. That is box 34 is called out by Aiden. Weapon X. Uh, we're, we're moving in this series, Mike. We are not too far away uh, from the Weapon X series as well. I believe we have a Justin Jefferson Lunar and a Sean Alexander Lunar out there that I haven't nice. seen pulled. Uh, some good hot pits still left in this series. Whole bunch of Colts and Chiefs in this series. I think we said at the start, especially Chiefs. There's a lot of Chiefs players in this series. Weapon X. How about some foreshadowing, Mike? You believe in foreshadowing? I do. Well, I certainly do because I just said there's a lot of Chiefs players. Here's one. Derek Johnson. How about that? Four-time Pro Bowl a linebacker. He told you right there. Four-time Pro Bowler. Colton Bicker, AFC West. Derek Johnson, he is going home to you. The helmet, 
Colton Bicker. Very nice. Woo! I like that. Derek Johnson was one of the best linebackers in the 2000s. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. He was a Texas Longhorn, too, before before he joined the Chiefs. So he's played for uh, one of the great NFL franchises and certainly one of the great uh, college football franchises, at least back in the day. Colton. It was a Wednesday, if anybody was wondering. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't, I don't know what reference you made there, but I still like it, Mike. Okay, cool. <laughs> All you need to know. All, All you right. need to know is that you like it. All right. Johnson Helmet. Next up, the best series we have on the site. Maybe the best uh, that we've ever had, at least in my opinion, in my three three months here. Colton Bicker, Charles Peavy House, Larry Rossland, Ryan Murray, and Matthew Kerr. Brady Helmets, number two. If you guys can get us a box number for Brady, number two. I'm excited to get rolling on it. So many good headliners in this series, not just Tom Brady. Uh, we have Marshall Falk on a Speed Flex helmet. Uh, who, who else was the other Speed Flex? DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf. And they're actually Lunar Eclipse Speed Flex Lunar helmets. Eclipse Speed Flex helmets. Uh, there is a... There is a, what do you call it? A... Um, a Dan Marino Eclipse helmet in there. Yes, there is. Uh, that one is really sick. There's a Barry Sanders, Matt Menard, if you're in here. Barry Sanders is in this series as well. Uh, so this is pretty sick list of headliners. Six, says Mr. PV House. All right, Charles, Charlie, six is going off the ticker. Gives me a chance to add a couple new numbers. I'll do seven and eight uh, for the next time around. Uh, six is coming your way. Brady Authentic, number six. All right. Four, five. Got to organize this even better, Mike. I thought I was too organized, but there's a whole lot of boxes here, which is good news, though. It means we're moving. <laughs> That's true. Six. All right. Here we go, Mr. PB House. Number six is up. I'll, I'll put this Derek Johnson cert uh, after. Let's randomize you guys for the divisions. Here comes Quitty Pay, says Chris Roberts. Quitty Pay. All right, Chris. Quitty Pay is not such a bad, bad player. Not a bad player and a really fun name to say. Yes, it is. All right. Three, four, five, and six. All right, those are your divisions. Matthew Kerr should be at the bottom. Colton Bicker should be up top. Let's paste these bad boys in. Brady, number two. Colton, you're in the NFC North. Could you get yourself a Deion Sanders? That would be pretty cool. Ryan Murray in the NFC South. Larry Rossland in the NFC East. NFC West is Charles Peavy House. Colton Bicker in the AFC North. Charles Peavy House, the AFC South. Colton Bicker in the AFC East. Uh, that is Tom Brady on the Patriots, so that would be an AFC East hit. Uh, Matthew Kerr out in the AFC West. All right, Brady, number two. Chris Roberts has already predicted Quiddy Pay. If you think, we, if, you think when his rookie contract's up, he'll get Quiddy Paid? He might. I like that. I have a feeling that Chris will be right either today or two days from now. Because it took two days to get to, to, get to Clinton Porter's prediction. It's 24 to 48 hour uh, yeah, lead time on it. Yeah, it's to say like this medication will take effect and work <laughs> in 24 to 48 hours. Let's see what we got here. So Beckett certified, so I gotta find the card. This looks like something something unique. I can't even tell first who it is. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I like this. John Lynch on the Buccaneers. Old school Buccaneer helmet. John Lynch, the Pro Bowl safety and Hall of Famer. One of the hardest hitters in NFL history. Now the general manager of the 49ers. But uh, he was doing it big with the Bucs. 
He was a he was a part of one of the best Bucks defenses ever with Warren Sapp, Derek Brooks, John Lynch. Are you kidding me? Woo! I Mr. Lynch, it. I like it. NFC uh, South, right? NFC South. Ryan Murray, you're taking home John Lynch. I like it. Uh, so far, this series has, has proven to be pretty good. It's been it's been pretty fire, if you ask me. I concur. You concur, courteously. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Our next break up is going to be Beater Box number three. Other than that, Beater Box number three, everything is literally wide open. There's, all right. Uh, all spots are available in all the breaks we've done more than one of. We have seven slots remaining in Naughty or, Na Naughty or Nice, which is our chase, and seven lots in Breezy Dustin. We're cool. wide open. Ryan Murray, take another look at this uh, old school helmet here. John Lynch, an old school Buccaneer, number 47, full size authentic. It's a nice looking helmet. I really like this one. Cody now says, Chris, you watching the game. I'm sure Chris is watching the Cowboys game. How could Chris not be watching the Cowboys game? It's true. Hey, uh, comment. After we do Beater Box, we don't have anything else full. We oh, the personals. Have three personals. Three on. personals. All right, we'll do some personals, guys. That's cool. I like that, Mike. Keep us busy. Keep us busy. If someone wants to drop a box number for Beater Box, Colton Vicker, Michael Walker, James Bushy, and Chris Reitmeyer are in this break. Go ahead and drop a box number if you want. Cool. Where was the helmet bag? Here's the helmet bag. <laughs> hiding from you. It's hiding. Let me mark this Lynch here, too. Brady Helmet's number two, Lynch. You know, I'm not a... I, I don't wa I watch a lot of YouTube, but I don't watch a lot of YouTubers, right? Okay. A lot of the famous YouTubers. Not really my jam, usually, but uh, I, I did show up my news feed... Mr. Beast, right? I think everybody's heard of Mr. Beast at some point in time. Um, but he had uh, his re video from yesterday was a uh, hide and seek. Okay. In a football stadium. Mm. Oh my gosh. That just I just brought me back to my childhood. Makes me want to play hide and seek. Mike, I actually lived as a child for a decent part of my childhood in an apartment building. Oh. So it was oh. actually excellent for hide and seek. Oh, I bet. It was it was the prime hide and seek uh hide and seek slot. Uh, awesome. 32 says James Bushney. All right, James. Sweet. 32 has gone off the ticker beater box. 32 is coming up next. As Mike said, pretty open on. Oh, uh, James. Oh, yeah. James does have a spot here. I'm sorry. He does have a spot. Okay, good. I missed James him. has one. Uh, James, we'll get to your personals after this. Yes, sir. Uh, so we'll fill up some breaks hopefully soon, though, as well. Um, all right, 32. We do have three personals to do after this. We are wide open on everything except for Naughty or Nice and Breezy does it. Each of those has seven slots remaining. Naughty or Nice is our chase. I'm going to drop the link for that in the chat right now. And what there are the personals go. in, Mike? Uh, the personals are... Uh, let's see. James Bushy has two Jackpot Mixer personals and Colton Becker has a J Jettis. Okay, perfect. All right, the Jay Jettas are in the room here. They are. Uh, the jackpots I'll have to go back and get. Uh, but I know we have them because I just saw them, actually. Yes, they are I back. I just saw them. They are back there. Chris Roberts says, I'll get her naughty or nice if someone else will. Chris loves doing that chase. Beater box 32. Top spot break. We open up the box first, and then we see what's inside before we hand out a winner. Beater box. I'd like to do a naughty or nice. Like I said, guys. It's always good to get the chase item uh, out of the way. You can get an advent calendar pull or spin the wheel for double the UA cash. This is beater box. I have a nice, another full size authentic looks like in what? here. What? Feels like a full size authentic. Oh yeah. Let's see. Come on, let me see who you are. <laughs> Who are you? Well, there, this, this is something, Mike. We just had John Lynch. I talked about he was part of one of the great defenses with Derek Brooks and Warren Sapp. Well, here's Derek Brooks oh on the gosh. Eclipse. 11-time Pro Bowler Derek Brooks. What is even wow. wrong with this helmet? I can't even see. What's seriously, Mike? I don't. What What is even wrong with this? Um, 
Great question. Let's let <laughs> if you could look it I'm up. I'm looking at it right now. Because Mike will look it up because I can't even tell what's wrong with this. This is a full size authentic, Derek Brooks. Full size authentic, eleven time Pro Bowler, Hall of Fame linebacker. Are you kidding me, Mike? Full size authentic out uh, of the beater box. Small scuff on signature side of helmet. Signature side. Small scuff. Small scuff is what we're looking for. All right, I, I guess there's a small scuff on the signature side. I still can't really tell where the scuff is, but it, it, I guess it's, oh, you know what? There might be a very, very tiny scuff. You can't even really see it on camera. Looks like right below the, the signature, but I, I don't know. This is, this is in great shape. This, you can't really tell. I, I'm looking hard to find yeah, the scuff. It's, it's uh, that is a beautiful helmet. Derek Brooks, 11 time pro bowler. Pro Football Hall of Fame linebacker out of the beater box. Full-size authentic. Love it. Are you kidding me, Mike? Oh, that's awesome. Top spot, this is certainly one of the best things in the beater box. Uh, I don't even think it was a headliner, but it is a sick helmet indeed, as Justin Schultz says. The Eclipse Bucks helmet. John Lynch followed by Derek Brooks. Uh, five clicks, the sixth is the top spot winner. And that would be Colton Bicker. All right, Colton, get yourself a win. Colton Bicker, full-size authentic Derek Brooks, 11-time Pro Bowl linebacker out of the beater box. You kidding nice me? Hit. Nice You kidding hit. me? Mike, that's <clears throat> awesome. Pretty sweet. Very nice. Let's go, says Colton. Let's go indeed. Actually, I gotta be honest with you. The Buccaneers have among the best Eclipse-looking helmets, if not the best. Uh, I tend to prefer the Lunars a little bit more personally, but as far as the Bucks go, their Eclipse are fresh, Mike. They're really nice looking. The rag pops on there. Oh so yeah, nice. it really does pop yeah, on there. Yeah, looks great. This helmet actually, believe it or not, looks even better in here than this than in the room. And that white, like that white signature on a black helmet too. It just it looks, it looks clean. You're not going to miss it. That's You're not going to miss it. <laughs> Colton Bicker won't miss it because, Colton, it's coming your way. Very nice. We'll have this. this. So our shipping typically takes a few days. I know we ship Monday after the noon show. Uh, this might get in time here for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, Colton, I think this will be home just in time for Christmas for you. Uh, nice Christmas present. Uh, let's see. Colton did have three. He had five slots in there. So for 100 okay. bucks, he gets this full-size authentic barely a blemish well colton's got two things coming to him today so very good merry christmas colton common claws is here wishing you a merry christmas that's a beauty that's a beaut says cody happy sunday from north dakota cody hopefully north dakota i know has a lot of snow what, hopefully north, north dakota north dakota i like that hopefully you get some snow this year on christmas Mike, unfortunately, I, I don't think we'll have snow in the Chicagoland area, but weather forecasts could change. You know, knowing uh, knowing the Chicagoland area, it'll probably be 65 degrees in the morning and sleet in the evening. <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. All right, so we'll get to the personals. Uh, James Bushney, jackpot mixer. Uh, James, I don't know what box numbers we have. I'm going to bring in a couple jackpots. Uh, is there a specific number that you really like, James Bushney? I can tell you this, those will be high numbers in the jackpot. Something in the 30s or 40s or yep. 50. Like if you call out box 50, uh, that should be back back there. Uh, it's almost t-shirt weather here today. It's 39 here. Justin, where are you watching from? And Cody, a little snow now. Minus 20 already last week. Today over 40. Beautiful okay. outside today. James me... wants the lowest number and the highest number. All right, James, lowest That's and easy. highest. So, ND as well. Justin and Cody oh, are both guess. watching from North Dakota. I like nice. that, guys. Actually, I think it's about the same temperature here. Let me check for you. Yeah. It's 35 degrees here awesome. in the Chicagoland area. Very nice. You want Mad me to go grab J those boxes for you? Uh, if you want, Mike, yeah, sure. sure. I'll grab them for you. Mike will get the lowest and highest. I believe James 50 will probably be the highest, if not 50, 49. Uh, expect something in the 30s or 40s and then the 50s. Uh, Colton, while Mike gets those numbers, uh, maybe you can let me know on a Jay Jetta's number for your personal, and I can tell you if we have it in the room. We have most boxes in the room. 
I don't know which ones we have. I'm in Massachusetts, and I'm a huge Dallas fan, says James Bushney. All right, James. Are you not, have you not converted to a Patriots fan? Uh, 35 degrees here, too, Quadrina says. Looks like 35 all over the country. That's pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to take a look at the football scores. Guys, I've been so busy uh, with all of your orders. The big score that jumps out to me, the Lions beat the Cardinals 30-12. to Are you kidding me? What's going on in Arizona? Arizona went from the top overall seed in the league uh, to now potentially a three or four seed uh, come playoff time. That's wild. Uh, Bills back on track, 31-14 over the Panthers. Uh, they're winning late. Uh, Cowboys got the win, guys, 21-6. That's a nice win for the Cowboys. And Bengals and Broncos just kicking off a big game with playoff implications. Bringing out the index card in Pittsburgh, says Chris Roberts. I'm seeing 19-13 Steelers leading the Titans late in that game. All right, we got what the two, the highest and lowest. Yes, sir. All right. Twenty-seven and fifty. Twenty-seven. Okay, so we had a number still in the twenties in that series. So fifty, like I said, would be the highest. There's only eleven boxes of those left. All right, so eleven jackpots left, guys. Chris Roberts knows the jackpot. He got a jackpot. He got five things coming out of the jackpot. This is normally a top spot break, Mike. Cool. But it's not a top spot break this time because it's a Percy. Okay. Percy Harvin. Oh, the good old Percy. The Percy. It's Percy season, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely not. James Bushney does not like the Patriots. <laughs> He's a Cowboys fan from Massachusetts. Okay. Absolutely not. Very, wow. very adamant that he doesn't <laughs> like the Patriots. Yeah, I have. James, I don't like the Patriots either. I was a Colts fan with Peyton Manning in his time, and the Patriots beat him quite a bit of times. Feels like a jersey, Mike. Okay. A lot of jerseys today. You kidding me, Mike? You kidding me, James Bushney? You'll like this one. How about Michael Vick on the Falcons? Nice. Oh, my goodness. We still have some gold hidden in that jackpot series. Holy cow. That's a jackpot indeed. Michael Vick, probably the greatest rushing quarterback of all time. I know Lamar Jackson has a thing or two to say about that, but Michael Vick... On the Falcons, he went into Lambeau Field, beat Brett Favre in the Packers. Brett Favre had never lost a home playoff game at Lambeau. Michael Vick did it to him. Incredible. Michael Vick. That's it. Woo! Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Got some, uh, got some Ric Flair. That's right. Ric Flair indeed. Woo! Well, the nature boy. You know, you know the hit is good if it's bringing out a woo. Yeah, that's right. I'll say, I'll say this for Chris. Here we go. Chris, ready for this? Jackpot! Jackpot, Chris! Jackpot! Jackpot! Jackpot. First, perfect timing. <laughs> nice. James Bushnick, he says, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. James, you will yeah. take it. Very nice. That's a good That's a good personal. Michael Vick. Michael. He's got a really nice first name. Yes, yeah, he does. One for the history books, as they'd say. You ready for a, for a corny <laughs> joke, Mike? I'm ready. This will mix both of our names in there. Okay. Michael Vick has a very common first name. See what I did there? He certainly does. <laughs> All right. Cody says, Justin Schultz, Phil practice squad. Okay. <laughs> wow. Demanding. <laughs> James says, jackpot better. All right, Chris. Well, I have to work on my, my jackpot saying. I will work on that. But does he does he do common clause better? That's the question. Because there's only one common clause, Chris. And that's me. Unless you're getting divorced. Then there's two. <laughs> then, there's, then there's another common clause. Yeah, there would be. Just spelled differently. Well, I'm not married. So, I'm not getting divorced. Do you have a girlfriend, though? Uh, so, But I can confirm I'm not getting divorced. That's... We'll, we'll go with that. Probably. See good. the abuse I take, Justin says. Justin's getting bullied by Cody. Come on, Cody. What's with the abuse, man? I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. I can tell they're having fun. Uh, glad to have two hey, buddies hey, from no North Dakota. No fun in here. No fun in here. No. Just kidding. 
Did we film Naughty or Nice number one, says Aiden? We did not. Speaking of common claws, you do get potentially a second hit out of that if you're if you get a nice card. So let's fill that. That's our chase item of the day, Mike. Hopefully, would love to fill one of those naughty or nicest. Three left in the series. Six boxes, which means three breaks only in that naughty or nice. Nice. Cody, why is divorce so expensive? This feels like a good joke coming here. It's another Jersey Mike. Okay. It's jerseys left and right. Maybe it's another Jersey Mike. Could be a Jersey Mike. It wasn't Mike Vic before. Oh my God, Mike. I almost thought it was because I saw oh. the Bears orange. Oh, I thought maybe it was a Singletary. I thought it was a Mike Singletary. Instead, it's a Charles Tillman. Peanut Ooh. Tillman. Peanut Tillman. Nice. Here we go. Here's another one. Woo! Yes. Jackpot. Jackpot. Charles Tillman. The Very peanut nice. punch on the gold, or not the gold, excuse me, the orange jersey. This is like the flash version of a jersey hit. That's right. Peanut Tillman. You kidding me? 33, Charles Tillman. Uh, got yourself one of the best cornerbacks in the early 2000s. Mike and I are Bears fans. We have so many fond memories of him uh, getting those peanut punches. Uh, ripping the ball out of Randy Moss's hands in the end zone. To get the win for Chicago, James Bushney, I got to be honest with you. Very rarely do we get personals, especially in a mixer series, that you get this many good hits. I haven't seen back-to-back -back personals in a mixer deliver like Charles Tillman and Michael Vick did. I'll agree with that. Holy cow. You know, we could do that Jay Jettis personal next, and then we've got practice squad number six filled up. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, Colton, I know you're in here. Colton Bicker, you've got several wins. Uh, let us know if you want your personal done uh, live on the air. We'll do your Jay Jettis personal. Uh, you guys see the streak we're on with these personals. Bad A blank blank, same letter jersey right there, indeed. I like to call it Badaz. <laughs> Badaz, I like that. Then you can say it. <laughs> I like it. All Does right. Chris Roberts making a joke? That was subpar, Mike. I don't, I don't get it. Lives good. What, what was subpar? I don't know. I'm reading the I, comments you know what? here. I hope it's subpar because that's good in golf, bro. <laughs> He's making par. That, that, means, that means I'm under par. We had our company outing on Friday, Mike. We did some top golf. It was my first time doing top golf. I think they separated us into the good golfers and the bad golfers. It actually was literally just the order in which people showed up. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, was... Well, because my side was certainly bad. I looked up and I won the first time, and I looked at where my score would be in the other side, and it would have been second to last. <laughs> and I had a streak in Top Golf where whenever I hit the ball really good, it didn't hit anything, and whenever I shanked it, it kept rolling in to the points. Yep. So that's how it works in Top Golf. Better be lucky than good, as they say. That's right. So. We had a great time, though. Matt Salas, our uh, owner, I, I think he might be watching. I uh, saw him earlier in the chat. Thank you very much, Matt, for yes. uh, taking us out on that outing. Uh, Annette, our wonderful HR staff. Also, Dave Salas, a co-owner, came all the way from Florida for it. So thanks so much, guys. Uh, we had a great time. Absolutely. Jersey Mike subs. Oh, I see what Chris mm. Roberts did. Jersey Mike reference. That was subpar. I don't think he was actually saying it was a bad oh, reference. Oh. He just wanted to work the sub into I it. I haven't looked at the chat pretty much like all day. So, uh, yeah, I was just assuming. I was getting made fun of. I was going to call my mommy. Quadrina says, fill the naughty or nice so I can see it before I take a nap. Katrina's had a good weekend. Her Colts back in playoff position after they took down the Patriots. That was a massive win for the Colts. Their defense looked phenomenal. I think Carson Wentz, Mike, had under 100 passing yards, and they still won. Yep. That's incredible. That's the uh, that's the Wentz factor. <laughs> that's right. Hey, I, when you have not, Jonathan Taylor and a good defense, it works. Wentz is not my guy. All right, I didn't hear from Colton, Mike. We're going to do the practice squad first. Cool. Colton, we can do your personal after if you want it live on the air. Uh, we do have Cody. Uh, Justin helped fill the practice squad as demanded by Cody. <laughs> and David Sparks is also in here. Why won't a shark attack uh, or a shark attack a lawyer in the water? It's a great question. Uh, do you have a guess, Mike? And Cody, Justin, or David, if you can get us a box number on Practice Squad, 
Uh, that would be great. Otherwise, I will randomize. Give you guys a minute here. Professional courtesy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, oh my lawyers gosh. are sharks. I see. I see. Sharks. I like that. That's pretty funny. It took me a lawyers second. Are sharks. Five spots left, Katrina, says Chris Roberts. Yep. We're close. There is the link to Naughty or Nice. That is our actually our next closest break, period. Okay, Everything perfect. else is, has all spots available. All right, cool. So, guys, fill up some breaks if you want to stay on the air longer. Uh, I would like to stay on. Uh, it's up to you guys if you want to stay on longer. 45 is going off the ticker in practice squad. Um, and actually, let's not forget our Dutch. Mike, I almost forgot about our Dutch. <laughs> I did, too, until I saw him right there. All right, so we have him, what, at 550? Yes, we do. We're gonna we're not gonna go quite rock bottom yet, but we'll get close. We'll drop a hundred bucks off Ooh. this. Hundred bucks. Five fifty to four fifty. Full size authentic eclipse. Adrian Peterson. Just a couple of scratches in the back. AP four hundred fifty bucks on the site. Skull. Sparks nice. is the man. I see it coming, says Cody. Okay. Okay, Sparks. You do you feel the sparks coming? Are there sparks in the air? Is it a good first date? Or what? what's going on? Oh, my gosh. Are you the son of Nicholas? <laughs> Nicholas Sparks? Nicholas Sparks. Oh, yes. Is that oh, yes. Is that a musician, Mike? No, that? no. That is, the, uh, that is the man who wrote a lot of romance novels, but most notably, The Notebook. Oh, there you go. Yes, Nicholas Sparks. <laughs> Mike, I have a controversial take for you. And I'll make okay. it here off camera so I don't get attacked by anyone. Yeah. <laughs> the Notebook, albeit a good romantic comedy movie, it's sort of more of a dramedy, actually, really. It's it's definitely yeah. a dramedy. It's not a comedy. But, no. no. Uh, overrated romance movie, in my okay. opinion. Overrated. You guys are killing me. Divorce in the future? No, no. No, not divorce. The Force. The Force. You know, like the force be with you. Luke, I am your father. All right, 45. We'll randomize for box numbers. Dallas, 10 and 4. Arizona, 10 and 4. And soon Green Bay and Tampa Bay, 10 and 4. Or at least one of them will be. I don't think either Green Bay or Tampa Bay is losing today, Chris. Uh, and Green Bay and Tampa Bay are in good spots. They should be the top two seeds uh, in the NFC by the end of the day. Cody wants that AP. Cody, you can have it. 450 bucks. The AP. Let me throw it back on here. I set it down. I'll put it over here where you can still look at him. There we go. Got there him. There we go. Yeah, get him. There he is. If Justin Schultz could grow a beard, he could be my Santa. Okay. Okay. Fair. That's fair. I believe Justin would make a great Santa, but that's just my my feeling. All right. Here's a look at the divisions. Got a whole bunch of friends in here. A, lot, a bunch of friends, a lot of bragging rights on the line, as well as what could be a good hit in practice squad number six. Justin, you're in the NFC North. Cody is in the NFC South. Justin has the NFC East, NFC West, AFC North. Cody in the AFC South. Justin in the AFC East. And David Sparks in the AFC West. All right, guys. 450 bucks. It's at the bottom of our break page, Cody. If you want that Dutch item, it is a full size authentic. Uh, it retailed, I believe, at 630. So you're essentially getting 180 bucks uh, off. It's a minor imperfection on the back, but pretty good deal if you ask me. There's the link in the chat for you. If you want to snap it up. Thank you, says Cody. You got it. Hopefully, Cody gets that. Another jersey, Mike. Okay. Whole bunch of jerseys today. Practice squad. We are getting close to finishing up this practice squad series as well, Mike. Getting real close. Getting real close. All right. This guy played on the Bears for a while, I believe, briefly, actually. This is the, with the Miami Dolphins. Adam Shaheen. Do you remember him on the Bears? Oh, yeah. Former Bears tight end. He's kind of a backup to Mike Jacecki. Doesn't get a ton of playing time, but, you know, he's found the end zone a few times. Adam Shaheen, beautiful-looking jersey. That would be the AFC South. Or, excuse me, AFC East. That's Justin Schultz. Hey, Justin, it was demanded that you fill the practice squad. Well, you got yourself a win, my man. Justin 
Schultz taking home Adam Shaheen. 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 You know, we have a we have really bad luck on the Bears of drafting really great tight ends and then trading them. Or not using them. Cole Komet even. never gets used. Cole Komet, Greg Olson. Uh, I'm just thinking of all the great tight ends we've had. Oh, man. Mike Ditka worked out pretty good back in the day. Yeah, and then he went to the Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Ditka. The coach. The coach. Bismarck. Larry's asking what town Justin's from. He's in Bismarck, North Dakota. I ah, believe that's, that's the capital. That's the capital. It I was is. about to say. Justin Schultz, my man, says Cody. That is the capital and uh, one of my one of my uh, top five favorite donuts. Yes, yes. Sorry, I was reading the chat. Yeah, Bismarck. <laughs> Bismarck. That's Jelly a good Bismarck. donut brand, yeah. brand. Yes. Sorry, I missed like what you were saying, then I picked it up because I was reading the chat. Um, <laughs> Justin Schultz, Larry Rossland is in Wilston. What's your favorite team? That's a great question. What team do people from North Dakota uh, go with? Because. Maybe they're Colts fans. They might like Carson Wentz from his time at North Dakota State. True. Uh, or they just like the Cowboys, the Chiefs, some of those big name teams. That's very true. Any good either. Cowboy stuff? Asks Neffy. Neffy, we have Cowboy stuff in all all our stuff. I don't know that we have Cowboys Dutch at the moment, but we have Cowboys in pretty much all our series. Yes, sir. Bucks since I was a kid. Bucks and not a Tom Brady bandwagon. I promise. Okay, fair. Justin, hopefully you enjoyed that. I believe was it 02 Super Bowl when the Bucks beat the Raiders with John Lynch and Derek Brooks, so. who we had in the break room earlier. I think it was 02 Super Bowl. It was either the O it was either played in 02 or it was the 02 03 season. One of those. All right, we got practice squad number seven is ready. I'm gonna get it for you right now. Sweet, practice squad number seven's coming. Did any cowboy stuff break today? I don't know if we had any cowboy stuff today. Not yet. I don't think so. I don't think we've had any Cowboys today, which that could only mean, Cody, that Cowboys are coming. That's all that it could mean. QB Brad Johnson. That's right. Brad Johnson was the quarterback of that team. Why does the chicken coop only have two doors? Why is that, Bob? Um, I hope so. Okay. Is he in practice squad seven? Who? Uh, Cody. Um... I don't know. Nope. James Kilborn and Charlie Peavy House. Awesome. Mike is finalizing that list, or is it ready and I'm missing it? Nope, it's not ready yet. All right, Mike is finalizing that list. Just filled up. Just filled up. Bucks a long time ago. Mad J is telling the truth. Mad J is is Justin Schultz. They call him Mad J. That's his nickname. You like that? Mad J. That's a good nickname. If it had four doors, it would be called a chicken sedan. All right, Bob. All right, Bob. God. All right, Bob. I like it. Uh, uh, Justin's got a Doug Martin jersey. He was a Bucks running back from uh, back in the day, Doug Martin. It is already on the jacket of the front for We We tend to have a lot of Chris Godwin stuff in the room, Mike. And then, of course, uh, Tom Brady, but he's now with the Patriots. He's in that Brady helmet. Right. So There you go. Good to go. Awesome. And Colton Bicker, if you're in here, Colton, I know you've got a personal... Uh, that we can do live on the air for Jay Jettas. Otherwise, we'll we'll send it your way. Practice squad number seven. We are ready to go. We've got, let's see, we've got James Kilborn and Charles Peavy House in here. James or Charles, if you guys uh, could get us a box number, uh, let us know. Practice squad number seven, 43, 48, 49, and 50. Those are the last four box numbers. Then we're done with uh, practice squad 49, says Mr. Peavy House. And Katrina, don't take a nap yet. Naughty or nice just filled up as well. Matthew Kerr bought the last five All right, Matthew Kerr. Now. Get that man a Brady, says Cody. All right, well, hey, the only way to get a Brady is to hop in on the Brady Authentic Helmet Series. Our full-size Authentics have dropped. Tom Brady is the big name, but we have other headliners like um, Dan Marino, Barry Sanders. Uh, it's a pretty sick series. Uh, in fact, the other headliners are... Tom Brady, Speed Authentic, Patriots Lunar, Barry Sanders, Dan Marino, Speed Eclipse, Marshall Falk, Speed Flex, Rams Lunar, DK Metcalf, Speed Flex, Devontae Adams Camo, John Riggins, Speed Authentic. And we have other non-headliners like Jerome Bettis and Brian Erlacher in that series, as well as Sean Alexander, Speed Authentic headliner too, Mike. Uh, so Got that right. Let's do some break. Let's do some uh let's do at least one 
um, Brady break if you guys want to do before we get out. But let's do let's do practice squad. Next we have box forty nine. Sweet. Holy moly! Whole bunch of boxes, Mike. Yes, sir. Forty. Sweet. I think Katrina already called out the boxes for the mini. Okay. So we'll do that after Katrina. Let's get the practice squad done first, and then we'll do the naughty or nice mini. Uh, then we'll do our advent calendar as well, Mike. Sweet. Hopefully we got some breaks filled up before that. Now would be the time to hop in uh, and make that happen, guys. All right, James Kilborn, Charles Peavy House. I'm going to randomize you guys for your divisions. A 50-50 shot in this one. All right. Six times on the dice roll. Let's do it. Three, five, and six. All right. These are our divisions. Let's see. James Kilborn has the NFC North, NFC South, NFC East, and AFC North. Charlie Peavy House, you have the rest. For the most part, Charlie looking for an AFC hit, James looking for an NFC hit, uh, but that's not 100% guaranteed. So let's see. That sounds incredible. Cody made fried chicken, taters, gravy, mac and cheese. He's asking his buddy Justin to come over. Maybe they can watch some football, eat some food. I'll come over. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be there on the flight. Mike will fly in. I'm driving, man. You're driving. Yep, I'll leave right after this program. See you oh, there. man. Text me your address. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Mike is sold by the menu. And, of course, the company, right? You're more, mostly going to hang out with Cody and Justin. Yep. It's not the fried chicken well, or the taters, Cody gravy, or mac and cheese. Cody food? It's, 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 uh, a, I mean, that's a win -win. it's a win-win. All are welcome, says Cody. All, All right. right. On my way. <laughs> Mike is on his way. <laughs> All right, we got another jersey, Mike. All right. We got a little old school hit here. We got a Super Bowl MVP, Otis Anderson, a running back with the Giants back in the 80s and 90s. He actually was MVP in that game against uh, the Bills when it was the wide right kick. He had 102 rush yards and a touchdown. Yes. Uh, he was the MVP of that game. Uh, he signed it for yourself. Super Bowl MVP right there. Otis Anderson, really good Giants running back in that era. Also Rodney Hampton, another guy we have in the room. Uh, Otis Anderson, the Super Bowl MVP uh, in that. I think was it Scott Norwood was the kicker's name that missed that kick. And because what he missed... Ray Finkel? Ray Finkel? Ray Finkel missed the kick, laces out. Laces out. I love it. Anybody that misses a kick in a Super Bowl is automatically Ray Finkel to me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Quadrita says, everyone from UA shows up at Cody's house. <laughs> Cody, we can hand deliver your wins, and you delivered the mac and cheese and all the food. We'll call it even. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call it even. Free shipping. We have free shipping on all our items. Yeah, um, and that doesn't, that's, you have to pay extra if you want it hand delivered by me. Okay, a yeah, little extra. A little extra. A gas. little for Mike. Yeah, you hit, hit me up with the gas. I'll charge a dollar less than what Mike is charging. So how oh, does that okay. sound? We will bargain to go to, go to Cody's house. Um, speaking of that hit, though, Otis Anderson didn't tell you who won. It's an NFC East hit. Uh, that is our guy, James Kilborn. Killing it, Kilborn. Taking home Mr. Anderson. Super Bowl MVP. Every kid dreams about that, Mike. Yeah. Very few make it happen. Uh, Otis certainly did. Very few even have the ability or opportunity to make it happen. Like, just to get to the Super Bowl, and then you have to be the best player in that Super Bowl. That's pretty tough. good. That's pretty hard to do. And that was a great, like, a bunch of great players on those two teams. I know the Buffalo Bills had Jim Kelly. They had uh, Andre Reed. Yes. But they didn't have a good kicker, at least in that game, at least. And they came up short to the Giants. I think Bill Parcells was the head coach back then, and I think Bill Belichick was the defensive coordinator. Okay. So that was quite a Giants team. Bob Boulay can tell us. Bob Boulay was a big uh, Giants fan at that time, I believe. Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob. Cool. Okay, Otis. Okay, Otis. 
All right, let's do naughty or nice. Katrina called out 46 and 48. I will take those off the ticker. You guys keep the jokes coming. I will stay on here and laugh with you, but you also got to keep the orders coming in order for us to do that. So, uh, Katrina, I will get 46 and 48. Uh, we have Spencer in here, Aiden, Katrina, and Matthew. Uh, why does Snoop Dogg use an umbrella? Ella, Ella. Why is it, Mike? Why do you think Snoop Dogg uses an umbrella? Um, this will be a corny joke because it's a Bob joke. Keep that in mind. Why does Snoop Dogg use an umbrella? I don't know. Mike, you Four are... drizzle. Four <laughs> drizzle. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Oh, my gosh. I like that, Bob. Oh, that's funny. That is great. All right, everybody, we are pretty wide open here on everything. We got eight left in the next Naughty or Nice, seven in the next Practice Squad, ten in the next Beater Box, eight in the next Very Brady, eight in the next Weapon X, seven in Breezy Does It. We are wide open, wide open. All right, that's the time, guys. Hop in now. If you want to keep playing, hop in now. These boxes are in the worst possible place, Mike. 46 and 48. Stretch. There it is. Those long arms are useful for something, Mike. All right. Um, Mike, let's go ahead and lower the AP to its rock bottom price. I know Cody was Chris Roberts says, hold on, I thought I got in this. Hang on. Maybe Chris got in the next one. The boxes are coming either way. We'll hold on one second for you, Chris. Hang on, Chris. Let me look. Maybe Matthew had one less. Who knows? Mm, he had five spots, and that would have filled that would have filled it up. Okay. Uh, Chris, let me look right now. Oh, yeah, I do have you in here. Hmm. Hold on. No worries, Mike. All right, hang on. Mike will take care of this, Chris. Maybe we got a name in there that doesn't belong in there. But who knows? But we do know Katrina's in there. Sorry, I'm back. What's up, Matthew Kerr? What's up is we're going to do this naughty or nice break that you're in. And then we would need to get some orders going if you guys want to do more breaks. Uh, Mike is finalizing that naughty or nice number. I got five. What do you got five for? Did you fill out a break? Okay, that was, uh, there was. Oh, he got five there was, spots. There was an inaccuracy from last night. Inaccuracy from last night. Yep, okay. Somebody bought a personal and they were put in as a jersey spot. Or they were put in as a as a uh, as a break oh, spot instead of a personal. Oh, I see what you're doing. So I got gotcha. you. Okay. I got gotcha, you, Chris. Thank you. Chris, Chris, Mike has got you. We we're getting that issue fixed and we're gonna go ahead and break this box number as soon as we throw your name in. Eight. Okay. Just trying to figure out where you are, where you belong in the list, and I found you. Yep, Katrina, we've got it. We've got the issue. Mike is fixing it as we speak. We'll have that fresh list all ready to go here in just a second. All righty. There you go. That's all right. correct. The list is correct. It's ready. Chris Roberts is in there. Aiden S. is in there. Katrina. And then five for Mr. Kerr. Uh, we are going to go ahead and randomize for your divisions. And we will do this break. Uh, guys, hopefully it's not the last break. But if we don't get any orders coming... It potentially could be because, as Mike said, we're pretty open on the break page. Colton, you didn't miss your personal mystery box. We'll do that after this break. How does that sound, Colton? We'll do that after this break. And six times on the divisions. You keep both of your divisions because it's a double box break. We'll keep them for both of them. So we got Matthew in the NFC North. Matthew also has the NFC West, AFC North. AFC East and AFC West. Aiden's got the AFC South. Chris has the NFC East. And Katrina has the NFC South. Awesome. Good luck, everyone, says Katrina. Let us know if you're chasing anybody in this series. Very few boxes left. Naughty or nice minis. Okay. Oh, bad news. 
You folks were naughty. Oh, bummer. So naughty. So naughty. I want to pull up an extra hit for Common Claws. All right, we got a Lunar Helmet here. We got Fred Warner from the San Francisco 49ers, talented linebacker, over 400 career tackles. Uh, he's coming out of BYU, Brigham Young University. Fred Warner has made himself a solid spot in the NFL. That is an NFC West hit. Matthew Kerr had five spots. Certainly deserves at least one win. He has taken home Fred Warner on the Lunar Mini. Nice. Fred Warner. I like that. <clears throat> All right. Matthew Kerr. Got a bunch of wins early in the show. Getting some late wins here as well. That's right. Two slots left in practice squad. Number eight. Five slots left in Breezy. Does it wide open on the rest of the gamut. Perfect. All right. Let's definitely get that practice squad done because we're so super close there. Uh, practice squad. We have three boxes left in the series. We are almost done with the practice squad. We're almost done with the Naughty or Nice. And we're not far from getting done with the Breezy Does It either. So that's pretty cool. Why are the Irish so wealthy, says Bob. Why is that, Bob? Enlighten me. Ooh. All right. You fill something up, Mike? Uh, nope. Oh, I thought we did. Oh, oh, let's drop that AP to the rock bottom. 400 bucks. Cool. 400 bucks. 400 bucks. As cheap as it will go on that Adrian Peterson. All right, $400 it is. It is updated now. Here's some good news. Oh. You guys were nice. You got an extra pull from Santa's bag. Common Claus is going. Ho, ho, ho. Are we pulling an extra pull? All right, Mike. We had Cody Neff asking about cowboy pulls earlier today. Here's a cowboy pull. How about Hall of Fame 94? Randy White. All I like right. it. Randy White, Cowboys defensive lineman and linebacker in the 70s and 80s, Super Bowl champ and Super Bowl MVP, nine-time Pro Bowler, seven-time first-team All-Pro. He's a college and a pro football Hall of Famer, Randy White. I like it. Uh, that, by the way, is an NFC East hit. Chris Roberts was asking about the Cowboys, too. Chris, that's your team, the Dallas Cowboys. You are taking home Randy White, Chris Roberts, I like that. Single, spot, snipe, Chris Roberts taking home Randy White. Andy is nice. Andy yeah, is nice. Andy's nice. Finally a cowboy for Chris Roberts. Finally. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We did it. Why are the capitals, the riders so wealthy? Because their capital is in Dublin. It's Dublin. Dublin. You know, because they're doubling their money. They're doubling their money. All right, I like it. Doubling right. down, doubling down. Doubling down. Chris, I'm going to pull from Santa's bag for you. Santa's bag pull is coming, Chris. All right, Chris. Let's see what your second hit is here. Okay, Chris. 15 bucks UA cash. Righty, all righty. Right on. You are nice. 15 bucks UA cash, Chris Roberts. That is yours. I will put that in your account when we get off the air, my man. Spend it tonight. Randy White as well. Grab me something nice, Claws. Chris, I got you 15 bucks UA cash. That's not bad. It's free money. You have to get this one, says Bob. <laughs> what do lawyers wear to work? Bob, I definitely do better at sports trivia than corny joke trivia. <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, you know what they You'll wear? You'll get this. You know what they wear? A lawsuit. Mike, you got it. Is that right? That's right. Mike, oh, Mike I wasn't was, looking. Mike was not looking in the chat. I'll I was, back him I up. Was Lawsuits. I not looking in the chat. Very I was trying nice. to think of what kind of suits they would wear because they only wear suits. Yeah, lawsuits. I like it. That's actually probably my favorite one, Bob. I guess, you know what, depending on, the, they could be wearing civil suits, too, depending on what kind of court they're in. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I like it. Mike, I at one point, like, I had three three career paths I ever considered. 
One was a sportscaster, which is the way that I went. That was my always my number one. Okay. I thought about teacher, and my third option was lawyer. Okay. And then I was a lawyer for a class project, and I had to do a whole bunch of research, and I said, no, thank you. That was enough of that. Huh? That was enough of that. The law, <laughs> the law was too much. I fought the law, and the law won. Definitely. That definitely was the, the case. Huh. All right, Colton, you're in here from earlier. Colton asked about his personal... Uh, Colton, let us know if you're in here now. Jay Jettas, we are happy to get your personal. Let us know on a box number. Uh, most box numbers are available. I don't know exactly which ones we have, uh, but they're in the room. So if you can get us maybe your top box number, maybe your second one, and we can get it for you. And now's your chance because uh, Charlie PB House hopped in and just filled out practice squad number eight. Okay. Uh, so Colton, we'll give you 20 seconds. Uh, if, you, if you let us know on that one, otherwise we'll get the practice squad eight and then we'll circle back to you on that personal, uh, Colton, if you want to get us a box number. Uh, this is last one for, uh, you can surprise me. Okay. Mike, since it's right there, do you want to grab one? Or you don't want to do that? I'll grab one. I'll surprise you. Mike doesn't want to get blamed. I will, nope. I will surprise you. I will always, you'll, you'll notice I will always go to the randomizer if you give it, if you do dealer's choice. Because okay, well, I'm not going, want, we got about 40 jerseys in here. So. I don't want that on my yeah, shoulder. That's fair. That's a good point. By the way, I like randomizing too when I'm told dealer's choice, but uh, we've got about 40 box numbers. I don't have them written <laughs> down, so I'm not going through all of these and going to the randomizer. So, eyes closed, Mike, you know, you look me. Mike can verify. Oh, yeah, eyes your are eyes closed. are very closed. Eyes are very closed. <laughs> can you open them now, though, please. Open them now. <laughs> okay. Box 45 is what we're going with. Okay. 45. Jordan's comeback. MJ was 45 when he came back. Not for long, but he was 45. Okay, we had a question while I opened this box. Bob says, last one, then I have to go. What's the way to burn, the best way to burn 1,000 calories? Uh, with a match. I like that. <laughs> with a match. That, that's that's my guess. Is that right? Leave the pizza in the oven. Is that what it says? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like it. You're getting a laugh out of Mike? I like that one. We You're getting the laugh, the laugh out of Mike, Bob. You're doing big things, Mr. Bob. <laughs> All right, JJ is 45. Bye, guys. Bye, Bob. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you hopefully tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, we are back 8 o'clock Central Time. Uh, hopefully we'll stay on a little while longer here, but that's up to you guys. It's a little a little different hit. This isn't a name you see very often in the break room. In fact, I've never seen this name in the break room, Mike. Okay. Uh, Vince Ferragamo. Vince Ferragamo uh, with wow. the Rams. Really? That's a unique hit here. Vince Ferragamo. Let me show it off uh, to our... Winner, Colton, Vince Ferragamo. Beautiful Rams jersey. Vince Ferragamo. You like that one, Mike? I do like that one. You like I that? I like that. Ferragamo. Vince Ferragamo. Hopefully you like that hit, Colton. You are taking home Vince. Vince for Colton. Back in the 80s, Rams QB back in the 80s, says Bob, indeed. Uh, he was an All-American in college for, he played at Nebraska in, in California. He was the fourth round pick. Um, 76 career touchdowns, not bad. Wow. Played for the Rams briefly, briefly Vince Ferragamo. Uh, that is Colton's personal. Very nice. Very nice. Makes me think of, he was part of the LA Rams, I believe. If it was the 80s, it was the LA Rams. La Rams. But this looks like, like a St. Louis Rams jersey that they had back with Kurt Warner. Yeah, then now they're French again. La Rams. Or it's uh, Spanish. Sorry, Spanish. La Rams. La Rams. <laughs> All right, Colton. Guaranteed win. You'll take it. It's better than a loss. Vince Ferragamo. And we have practice squad coming up, Mike. Is that right? Ready for you. Awesome. We will do practice squad. We're caught up on the personals. We're caught up on the orders. Now would be the time to hop in and get some more orders if you want to keep this afternoon show going.
Right now, we are literally wide open on everything except Breezy Does It has five spots left. All right, five left in Breezy Does It. This, by the way, Mike, is another one of those jerseys that feels a little softer. Yeah, so, what the heck? What's with all these soft jerseys? Better materials lately? these days, huh? The jerseys only keep getting better in the break room. They only keep getting better. Sweet. All right, practice squad is coming. Let's go head over to practice squad. Uh, this could be our last break of the day, unless the day show, of course, not of the total day, unless you guys fill up some breaks. All right, now we got Jose Alcala, the teacher in here, Colton Bickers in here again, uh, Charles Peavy House, Mr. Peavy House, you're in here. If you guys can get us a box number uh, for practice squad number eight. Let's see, we have what? We should have three left, 43, 48, and 50. Uh, if you guys can get us a box number for that one. Mike, what about the Cardinals taking down uh, the Lions today? Or the Lions taking down the Cardinals, rather. 30-12, Lions getting the win over the Cardinals. Uh, same as I said at the top of the program, you've been a broken clock's right twice a day. Any given Sunday, That's man. That's right. Kyler Murray looks like he left the game. I wonder if he was hurt. Ooh. We already have uh, his receiver, DeAndre Hopkins, I believe, is out for the season. Is that I right? Are. Yep, sure is. You want to so, know why? Because he's on my fantasy team. That's that's how that's it works. Why. Haven't even checked my fantasy team because I got eliminated from the playoffs last week in heartbreaking fashion. Bummer. Had, I, had my girlfriend lost last week, it would have been me and her for the last playoff spot. Uh, she got the win, eliminated me. Unless I beat her by 90 points, but I don't think I'll beat her by 90 points. 90 points. Yeah, that's that's a lot of points. Somebody would have to have have to have an epic, epic game. Yeah. When she already had Mahomes and and uh, Herbert oh. go Thursday night, so oh I'm God. probably not going to win this week anyways. That's Cer a tough one. Certainly not going to win by 90. I know I have Aaron Rodgers, and I don't think the Packers have scored yet, so could be could be a tough fantasy day. But hey, I'm hoping to get. Win the consolation ladder. Hey, no works. money on the line, but I'm a guy for pride. That's right. 48's coming your way, Jose. 48 out of the practice squad. What's good, Mr. Alcala? How are you? Probably grading some papers. Yeah, you you grading finals. Is it finals week time? My uh, my oldest just took her finals this week. Okay. This last week, she is now officially on break. Okay. Both kids are on break now. Winter break. Full house during the day. Cool. That's that's a good thing, Mike. That's right. You get to spend a lot of time with the family. That's right. I like to have people home. I'm excited for Christmas Eve and Christmas. All right. Jose says, good winter break for the next three weeks. Enjoy, Jose. All right, Enjoy Jose. Enjoy that come, time off. Hey, come to the break room. We have a good time. You've got one spot. Don't have to spend too much money. Chris Roberts knows he likes to get the one spot snipe. Come in right. here for one spot. If you want, of course. No pressure. Um, he is, yeah, he's, he's in this one for one. That's right, exactly right. Charles Peavy House is in here as well. I tell people all it takes is one spot to win. You can play once or twice a show. You don't have to, you know, you don't even have to be playing constantly. Get yourself in the chat, keep us entertained. Uh, it's it's great. I mean, Bob Boulay, Chris Roberts, a lot of our customers know. Uh, all you need is one spot uh, to win, and you have a great time. If you're invested in a little bit, but not too much, you tend to have a really good time. All right, these are our divisions. We've got Charles PV House is in the NFC North. Uh, Jose Alcala is in the AFC North. Charles PV House in the AFC West. And Colton... You have the rest, the red zone and UA, Jose. No better way to spend the Sunday afternoon, in my opinion. I'm a little biased as a football fan and as a UA breaking employee, but red zone and UA is the best way to spend a Sunday. There you go. Seven hours of commercial free football and what, about four hours of, <laughs> of breakage, maybe more, depending on how the shows go. Uh, we typically go about two hours a show. But if we're busy, we go longer. We have two shows, 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock. We're approaching the two-hour mark uh, here shortly. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! You kidding me, Mike? How about got? Randall Cunningham on the Eclipse, or excuse me, the replica helmet. Randall Cunningham on the Eagles. That'll get you, uh, you ready for it? Woo! There it is. 
My goodness, Randall Cunningham. One of the best dual threat quarterbacks. One of the first guys who was a passer and a runner. Uh, this is a $15 spot in this series. You get yourself a replica helmet. Randall Cunningham, that is an NFC East hit. Colton Bicker, you had the most spots. You are taking home a Randall Cunningham. A very nice hit, Colton. I hope you're happy. Randall Cunningham, a really talented quarterback. A dual threat quarterback. For the Eagles, he also played for the Vikings as well. Sure did. I think he was part of that 15-1 and one team. I think it was maybe Randy Moss's rookie season with Chris Carter. Uh, so this is a pretty good hit. Uh, Randall Cunningham. Holy cow. Didn't expect that out of the practice squad. <laughs> Not a headliner either. Sneaking up on you. Sneaking up on me. Sneaky, sneaky. Colton, take another look at this one. Randall Cunningham. Pretty nice signature, too. I like it. It's pretty cool, Mike. I also like it. You got like that, that? Got that throwback of that, like, uh, really, really uh, bright Philly green. Yes. This is what they used to be back when um, their coach was, when, when they had that movie that I like. with I met the real-life guy. Um, he's in one of our series, I think I saw, actually. Uh, Vince Papali. Ah, yes, yes, and yes. And Vince Papali was a guy who came off the street made the eagles roster when he was um i think he was a bartender and he went from bartender to football player kind of like kurt warner's story but a little different because kurt warner actually played in pro leagues all over uh quite frankly the world sure so kind of like a shane falco <laughs> shane falco yes <laughs> i like shane falco me too the new Matrix movie's coming out. I don't it know just if, came out. It just came I, out. I think so. At least somebody's... I've been seeing reviews on it already, so... Are they good? I've heard mixed reviews, but there's always going to be mixed reviews. What There are mixed reviews on all the new Star Wars movies. Sure. There's mixed reviews sure. on everything, so... If you... There was one new Star Wars movie that everyone hated, and I loved it. Not everyone. A lot of people loved sure. it, too, but I thought the reviews were harsh. I was a big, uh, big fan of I think it. They're so. always harsh. They're, Star they, Wars... You Star try Wars... to bring something back, or... Or revitalize something that people hold as nostalgic sure. in their brands. You're gonna have haters. Yes, it, it'll it'll be tough. Um, so, all right, guys, let's see. It is 3:55. We'll give it till four o'clock. Uh, we'll stay on for five more minutes. See if we fill up some orders. We get anywhere within two to three spots left. I'll extend that deadline a few minutes longer. Uh, but if we don't get any orders in the next five minutes, uh, we will call it for the afternoon. So, giving you guys a last call, five more minutes. Uh, fill up some orders. If we do fill up a few orders, like I said, we get to two or three slots left. Uh, I'll extend that deadline. Happy to stay on much longer with you guys, but we got to get some orders uh, filled up uh, for sure. And this is a good, a uh, good chance to tell you about our Dutch item. I know Cody was interested earlier. This is a full size, authentic Adrian Peterson, uh, four hundred bucks on the Eclipse, fifth all time in rushing yards. Uh, that. Has the small scratch on the back, the only imperfection. Uh, that is the Dutch item. Uh, that's funny because I was just telling someone I had a Randall Cunningham full size Eagles Lunar and a Randall Cunningham full size UNLV Authentic, and then a Randall Cunningham comes out. Quadrina, funny how it thinks, how it happens. Maybe you got to tell them that you have a Tom Brady helmet, and then the Brady will come out. There you go. That's, that's one way to do it. Uh, our full size Authentic Bradys are. Up on the site, I'm going to actually go ahead and show you guys. I'll take the randomizer off the screen, or rather on the screen, uh, and show you some of uh, the items we have in our Brady Full-Size Authentic Series uh, so you guys know what you can hop into right now or tonight. So here we go. Very Brady Authentic Series. Uh, this is a list of our headliners. Uh, we've got the Tom Brady on the Patriots. That is a Lunar. Uh, we've got the Speed Flex Lunar Marshall Falk. We've got John Riggins on a Lunar, uh, DK Metcalf uh, also on a Lunar, Sean Alexander on a Lunar, uh, Dan Marino, a sick-looking Eclipse, uh, Barry Sanders on the Lions, Devontae Adams, Camo on the Packers. So the NFC North is a great division to have uh, in that series, as is the NFC West, because uh, you can get Falk, Metcalf, and Alexander. And, of course, uh, the AFC East is great with Brady and Marino. Uh, so those are some of the great things we have. Gross, I would never keep that in my house, says Katrina. <laughs> Which one are you referring Tom to? Tom Brady. It's like Chris Roberts says, all I ever do is win Brady's. <laughs> so 
I'm sure a lot of other people would keep the Tom. Actually, maybe they wouldn't keep it because they might sell it. How many other How many other NFL players are there in history? Uh, a whole bunch, and he's got the most rings ever. Well, I can tell you, there's uh, there's that many more worse people to have in yes. your winning collection than Tom Brady. Uh, because absolutely, he's probably the number one hunted autograph in football. Period. And that's why we have the Tom Brady hunts in the break room. So yep, uh, it's it's there's a reason for it. Brady would be sold before it arrived. Um, <laughs> Kat so Katrina's a Peyton Manning fan, like I am myself, sure. Mike. You know, I'm a a Bears fan, now I'm a Chiefs fan because I've lived six years in Missouri, but my second NFL team, my adopted NFL team was the Colts because I love sure. Peyton Manning. Uh, and I was always in the crowd of, I like Manning better than Brady. Manning's better. I do think Brady at this point to me has to get the longevity, but I do like Peyton Manning a lot. So for me, like that Brady helmet, I might, you know, I would definitely sell it myself. I would rather have a Peyton Manning or a Patrick Mahomes if I'm collecting. But in terms of money... What you can make money out of. Sure. I get that Brady. I'd be quick to sell it. I'll tell you what. I would not. And you not because I'd want to keep it and display it, but because there are two times that that, Brady's hum that Brady helmet's going to be worth more than it is right now. After the next Super Bowl ring? Sure. If he gets sure, one. Sure, if he gets one. But there's two guaranteed times that, that that Brady item, any Brady item, will be worth more than it is right now. Hall of Fame time? When he retires mm -hmm. and when he makes the Hall of Fame. Okay. So and when he dies, there's three. Okay, those are those so, are three the, three milestones. Knock on wood, we don't wish death on anyone. No, the death no, no, one, no, 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 no. The death one. No, I'm not saying that's yeah. what you're saying, but <laughs> no, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to say the death right. one likely won't happen anytime soon. Yes, yes. So I hope not. Uh, the the I Hall of Fame, I think you got to be out of there for what four to six years. Yeah, I think it's I think it's four. Four I years. Think it's four. Yeah. Four years. Because Peyton was first ballot, and he was it was. Four, right? I think he retired in 2015 or was he it 2016. Did, he did, and then he made. I think he made the Hall of Fame. He was a 20. No, it's five then. It's got to be five. Okay, so so the point is though. So Tom, how many more is Brady gonna play though? He might play two to three more years. This is good advice though, Mike, because sure. I I probably agree with you. For guys that do have a Tom Brady item, I know Chris Roberts uh, is is trying to hold on to it, see if he wins another yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah. I know his son Andrew Roberts has one. I know Matt Menard. Uh, has a Brady item. These are all folks who've won Brady in our room. Yeah. Uh, so five, five years, years says yeah, Chris that makes Roberts. sense because he was a 2020 inductee and he he uh, retired in in 2015. Yeah. So. Katrina says I've got a full size Peyton Super Bowl helmet uh, that I'll show off any day over a Tom Brady. Yes. But yeah, I get a Brady is worth more. Yeah, Katrina, that's kind of yep. my thinking. For me, I'd rather have have the Manning uh, myself as well. I would too. Uh, but the Brady is <laughs> is 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 worth more. The Brady so. is worth more, and if you can afford to hold names like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and any any of the big big Johnny Unitas, you know anybody yeah. that's you know that's just historical, even Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, sure. Like, if you can afford to hold on to it, that stuff will appreciate in value. Yes, it will. It's yes, a it worst case scenario to be worth the same as it is right now. Yeah. So, which is not likely. It'll well, and I'll tell off. you this: Tom Brady's always going to be worth something. It really will. Yeah. I like Mike's perspective. Wait until February 14th at least, says Chris Roberts. Absolutely. Uh, that's what Chris said. Chris is waiting until the next Super Bowl. Smart. Uh, I'll tell you this though: something to keep in mind: the Brady helmet could be worth a lot during the Super Bowl week and after it too. Oh yeah. Because 100%, like yeah. Super Bowl week, and especially if it's like Brady wins another Super Bowl. Uh, then, then people might say, like, this might finally be the last one. Right. And everyone will want that Brady helmet. So yep. uh, wait yeah. to see what happens in the playoffs, Chris, for you and your son. Uh, but I know that family is also kind of the same way you uh, you and I and Katrina are. Like, we respect Brady, but we're not necessarily diehard Brady fans. Correct. Uh, we would yep. be looking to sell. And I think yes. that's what Chris is looking hold, to do. Hold and sell. That's, hold that's, and sell. That's the long game. I yeah. like it. Chris, yeah. Chris is, a, is a Joe Montana guy. That's who Ooh, he wants to hold on okay. to. Yeah, I'd, I'd he hold wants on to Monta Joe. Montana and Pete Rose as his hold on items. Joe Cool. And uh, then he wants the the Brady is the one to go. Heck so, yeah. Um, absolutely. Well, hey, Mike, let's head to the top spot. Chase, uh, we'll, we'll stay on a couple minutes. You know, after, we'll give you guys a few minutes if you fill out an order while we do the top spot, Chase. Uh, we will honor that break. I'll, I'll head through the NFL scores real fast before I do top spot chase. We got 3-3 Bengals and Broncos, low-scoring game. 49ers up 10-3 on the Falcons, looking for that last playoff spot. Uh, Packers looking to tie up the Ravens in the second quarter. No Lamar Jackson. Chris Roberts was in here saying that Huntley looked good. 
Uh, and then we got the Bills back on track, 31-14 over the Panthers. Lions, the big upset over the Cardinals. Uh, Dolphins, all of a sudden, 7-7, 31-24 seven seven, over the Jets. Ooh. The Cowboys, got a whole bunch of Cowboy fans, James, Cody, and Chris. Cowboys beating the Giants 21-6. The Steelers hanging on by a thread in the playoffs with a 19-13 win against the Titans. Hanging on by a thread, their playoff chances. And the Texans got the win over the Jaguars with the Lions win today. The Jaguars now are in prime position for the number one pick in the NFL draft. Jaguars lost the game, but got themselves the number one pick. Good for so, them. Uh, good stuff. All right, we'll head top spot, Chase. Uh, if you guys fill up any orders or breaks while we do this, uh, we will get those breaks done. Uh, otherwise, we've got Aiden, Chris, Katrina, and Matthew. I'm going to go ahead and throw you guys into the randomizer. The top spot winner uh, is going to get themselves an advent calendar item or a chance to spin for double the UA cash. I'm 3 for 18 on advent calendar snipes. Click away, common claws. Okay. He wrote comic claws, but I think he misspelled. But who knows? Either way. I don't know anymore after Bob's. All right, five clicks. Aiden's up top. Sixth one is the final one. Katrina, Katrina, getting yourself the single spot win. Ooh I was getting ready to say Chris Roberts might just get a single spot win, but it's Katrina instead. Katrina, you are the top spot uh, for filling out the naughty or nice. Mike, if you want to hand me the card, or you can probably already have it. You know what's funny is I would have said that uh, that anybody else would be keeping this helmet, but because it's Katrina, I think she might want to spin for the for the cat. Okay. But Matthew here. Kerr says he never hits the uh, calendar. All right, here we go. Lawrence Taylor side custom jersey. Katrina said I had enough of Lawrence Taylor. Uh, we might have this jersey uh, in the room. Uh, Katrina, let me know if you want me to pull that Lawrence Taylor jersey or show it off, but you probably already know what it looks like. So let me know if you want the Lawrence Taylor jersey or you want uh, the wheel spin for double the UA cash. Katrina's sick of Lawrence Taylor. Uh, she says she has a lot of Lawrence Taylor. James Bushney says, wow. So James Bushney is a lot more impressed. Seriously, says Katrina. <laughs> She's got a tough decision. Told you. Let me see it. All right, so I'll show you the jersey. She is wants, it in here? She wants to see. I think so. Okay. Uh, if it's not, I know it's in the other room. I'll hop in real fast and get it. Okay. Oh, uh, that's funny. Lawrence Taylor was 56, by the way, earlier. Mike, okay. I was questioning myself. 53 I, or 56. Yeah, yeah I yeah, knew yeah, he yeah. was 56. So this is probably the greatest defensive player of all time, by the way, Katrina. I know he signs a lot, so there's a lot of items. But I don't know if you've got a jersey by him. Multi-time defensive player of the year. Literally ended Joe Theismann's career. Lawrence Taylor, this beautiful blue jersey. We got the Lawrence Taylor signature. Uh, I think Hall of Fame 99 is what it says on there. That's when he made the Hall of Fame. Uh, he was in the news yesterday. What happened yesterday? I missed that. I did not see either. Uh, Chris Roberts says, oh, man, I'd like that. Chris Roberts would like it. So, Katrina, what's the verdict? Do you want Lawrence Taylor or do you want to spin for double the UA cash? So that is, obviously, if myself or Mike spins a 50, you would get 100 bucks UA cash. If you spin 100, you get 200 UA cash. Uh, personally, I would advise you to take this jersey because uh, this jersey probably, <laughs> if you want to sell it, probably goes for more than 200 bucks, Mike. I would say probably. Okay, looks okay. good, but I'll take my chance on the double spin. Okay, all right, Katrina. All right, your boy's That's not your spinning call. it, though. Kam is going to spin it for you. All right, you. I'm going to spin it so I can get $2. Okay. Mike is too nervous. He doesn't want to make people I'm, you upset. Know what? I'm not nervous. I just uh, I know my own personal luck, and I don't want to okay. project that onto our community. Okay, that's fair, Mike. That yeah, is fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, I, I'm I'm a risk taker and I'm a gambler, but I'm not this kind of gambler. I would <laughs> never take a chance to get in two bucks. That's just me. If you spin, the room will go nuts. No, says James Kilborn. Wow, what a risk. Put that jersey back in the pool, says James Bushley. Everybody's disagreeing with Katrina, but hey, maybe a 200 is coming your way. Who knows? Uh, last call, Katrina. I think she's going with the wheel, right? She is, yep. She's going with the wheel. She's not influenced by the people, huh? Nope. Katrina rolls to her own rhythm. All right, Katrina. I'm going to spin this for you. Uh, truthfully, does she want a number or do I need to start on one? 18 since we've been talking about 18 Manning. 18 for Peyton Manning. 
truthfully, I always wish for high numbers for you guys. Never ever have I wished for a hundred more than this instance because a Lawrence Taylor jersey is, is a lot to give up. So let's go for a hundred. <laughs> got a 79 so that means 79. 158 ua cash right 79 times 2 158 158 158 didn't spin a two my heart can go on my heart <laughs> will go on mike yep that's what uh celine dion says it salon de jean salon de jean all right katrina <laughs> okay not bad all right we can Yes, Katrina will hit big here, though. Okay. Well, hey, at least we got you a solid number. That's right. Just sent the jackpot. All right, Colton, buzzer beater, we'll do one more jackpot for you. Since since you asked so nicely, uh, do you want to get it, Mike, or do you want me to get it? I think he wants it. Did, did he get a jackpot personal? Uh, let me check. Oh, yeah, Jeff. There's no other way to get it. Okay, yeah. Yep. All right, we'll do we'll do one more personal uh, before we call it a day. Save me from having to sell and ship. I'll take that. That is true. Uh, this is what I told Mike. Like, it depends on the hit. Lawrence Taylor, I personally probably would have kept. But if it's like a hit that, like we had a Denzel Mims hit. Like, you can possibly make more money out of Denzel Mims. But is it worth the shipping and, you know, posting issues? I don't know. So... We've already had that jersey before. UA Cash is fine by us, says Nick. That works. That works. Maybe you can use that UA Cash and win a Brady helmet. A full-size authentic Brady. Then you really double your value. Plus, we have his mini, says Nick. That's a good point. It's a good point. It's most important that you guys are happy. Uh, and that is what matters most. Uh, I can go and grab that, Mike. Do we have a box number? Uh, yeah, Colton, do you have a box number? Or do you want us just to pick... Uh, the lowest or highest like last time. Uh, I know we have boxes probably in the 30s, 40s, and 50. We had 11 left in that one, I believe. Less. Less than 11. Maybe 10. Colton, is there a box number that you want for that jackpot? If you tell us something like lowest or highest, that actually would make it pretty easy. Because uh, we're not exactly sure which ones we have. We have it uh, back in the back. 52. Uh, it's out of 50, Colton. So it would be... 49 would be the highest we have. It's out of 50, that series. Right, Mike? I think it's yes, out of 50. Correct. Yep. Anyone want to buy that many? Katrina's taking the time. Highest. So that's probably going to be 49 or 48. 49. I Mike, saw it back there. Mike saw 49 back there. Uh, Colton had a lot of luck with the jackpot. <laughs> Mike, I'm sorry. I got you boxed yeah. in there, man. <laughs> Holy moly. A lot of boxes getting ripped today, which is, which is a good sign, guys. Good sign. Uh, we truly appreciate that. Uh, Colton Mike is getting 49. Uh, otherwise, guys, we've already done the top spot uh, Advent Chase. We are pretty wide open on the site. Uh, so if you guys wanted to get any last second buzzer beater orders, uh, this would be the time to do it. We're seven away from practice squad, uh, eight away from everything else, five away from Breezy Does It. Uh, then this, this will be the time for a buzzer beater because after we do this personal, we're probably going to sign off uh, for the afternoon. All right, 49, the highest one out there, Colton, and Jackpot. Colton got himself a Michael Vick jersey and a Charles Tillman jersey out of Jackpot. Time to go make some money, says Katrina. Chris Roberts says, more boxes get broke with you two than anyone, I believe, says Chris. Well, we're a great team, Chris. We're a great team. I don't know the statistics on that, but if it's true, which it might be, it's great to hear. Chris is tracking things. Oh, Mike. What, 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 is, what is this cold in the jerseys out of the jackpot? How about a James Worthy? James oh Worthy. God. Jackpot. Jackpot. James Worthy on the Lakers. Look at this jersey. How about that? How about that? James Worthy. This is really nice. Are you I kidding me? Are you kidding me? James Worthy, number 42. Ooh. The fast break machine, it was magic to Worthy. It was slam dunk. Game over. Los Angeles Lakers championship in the 80s. That is what you call a jackpot. Woo! Nice. Holy moly. 
Hold on, Mike. Jackpot! 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 <laughs> Colton! Colton, my man! That's a jackpot! I like that. That is JSA certified. James Worthy. I actually thought it was Magic Johnson at first, I'll be honest. But this okay. isn't bad either. I saw like a two in the Lakers. So I was like, is this Magic? But hey. It's just Magic Hole. It's Magic Hole. James Worthy. Man, there's something about Colton in that jackpot series. You know how our guy Jeff Grand Mason was the Wheel of Winning guy? Yes, yes. Colton is the Mr. Jackpot. I'm going to call you Mr. Jackpot from now on, Colton. I hope That's you don't fair. mind. That is a, a self-nickname I'm giving to you, Mr. Jackpot. I haven't even heard him in the chat. Hopefully you saw that, Colton. Maybe, hopefully you didn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> or maybe if he did, he brought his phone and he watched it from the bathroom. He's probably too excited right now. Hey, says Chris Roberts. Hey, what's up, Chris? Holy moly. That's an incredible hit, Mike. Very nice. Jackpot. Let me write this up. Um, what's up, Chris? Let's see. We have Colton Bicker. So Colton, out of the jackpot, got himself a James Worthy, a Charles Tillman, and a Michael Vick. Got that right. I thought I was the jackpot guy, says Chris. Chris is offended. Well, Chris, you did hit a jackpot. Chris, what five items did you hit out of the jackpot? This will be the last thing we do here. We'll hear what, what items you got out of the jackpot, Chris, because you are the jackpot guy. We can have two jackpot guys. How does that work? Share the load. The Lakers had multiple stars with Magic, Worthy, and Kareem. Sure. All right, this is our Dutch item. This will be on the site maybe for a few minutes after the broadcast. Uh, it is 400 bucks as low as we'll go on the Adrian Peterson uh, Dutch item. Memory like an elephant, says Chris Roberts. Indeed, that's what I'm here to do. Uh, AP is our Dutch item of the day, 400 bucks. Uh, we haven't had many orders at all recently except for those personals. Uh, so, guys, I think that's going to do it for the afternoon show. Uh, 4.15 here, Central Time in the Chicagoland area. Uh, Mike, I've had a great time. Hope you have too. Yes, sir. I hope all our customers have had a great time. Uh, we are going to be back tonight at 8 o'clock Central Time. I think, Mike, you're you're going home and relaxing a little bit. Yes, sir. Uh, with your family. Fun, fun time with your family. Steven will be in here producing. Uh, we will see you tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, we have gotten going with the Brady Authentic series. If you just happen to tune in on the break page, the full-size Authentic Tom Brady series is out. We've only done two breaks. Uh, all the headliners are out there, so looking forward uh, to ripping some of those boxes tonight. Uh, otherwise, have a great day, everyone, and we will see you tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time. ultimate autographs in the ua live break room if you had an awesome time you can join us again every day we are live breaking certified sports memorabilia at noon and 7 p.m central time every weekday and 2 p.m and 8 p.m central time on the weekend as a reminder if you purchased a spot in a break that did not fill your spot will transfer to the next ua live breaks broadcast Lastly, if you earn UA cash today, the funds will be added to your account in 24 hours. Thanks again for breaking with Ultimate Autographs. We hope to see you again soon.